Chapter 721 Pulling People in Translator Born to be Long Chen ignored Xu Guanzi, although he had to admit that Xu Guanzi was extremely powerful. He wasn't afraid of him. It was just that now, Long Chen was much more on guard toward the other rank 2 celestials. Xu Guanzi was a rather special case amongst the four of them. His combat strength lay in his defense, not offense. Furthermore, with this fellow's character, he definitely wouldn't expose his true trump cards unless he had to. Although he had heard that when the four of them had exchanged blows and they had been equally matched, that was simply because it hadn't been a battle to the death. They had merely used probing blows. Today, he had provoked Xu Guanzi and found many abilities that he hadn't used before. That meant the other rank 2 celestials also had to be hiding terrifying trump cards. Just Xu Guanzi, who didn't specialize in offense, was already able to push Long Chen to the point that he had no choice but to use all his trump cards. Then Zhao Wuji, who was widely known for his offense, would definitely be much more terrifying. Long Chen's gaze roamed around. As expected, he saw overflowing battle intent coming from Zhao Wuji. It seemed he had an urge to fight Long Chen right now. As for Yu Kai Anshin, his gaze was like a sword. He also seemed interested. Only Song Wuyan's expression was indifferent, making it impossible to tell what she was thinking. That made Long Chen snort. It seemed things would be very lively. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such powerful opponents. He felt his own blood boiling with battle intent. Long Chen might not have an arrogant air, but he had a lofty and unyielding character. His arrogance was concealed in the depths of his soul. Thus, he also thirsted to fight with experts. Currently, Xiao Wuji, Zhang Wuyan, Yu Kaianshan, Xu Guanzi, and Long Chen were going deeper into the storm zone from five different directions. They moved slowly, because the closer they got to the core of the storm zone, the stronger the current grew. But Long Chen didn't continue forward. Although the tide contained all the energies of heaven and earth, and any cultivator would gain huge benefits from it, he was different. He was not an elemental cultivator. He controlled flame energy and thunder force, but he didn't need to do anything to absorb those energies. Lai Long and Huo Long had already reached the core of the storm zone and were absorbing energy. Although they had separated from him, he could sense their emotions. Those two were crazily devouring energy there with extreme joy. Furthermore, the two of them listened to what he had said. They kept themselves small. They were only a few inches long, and outsiders were unable to sense their existence. Of course, compressing their bodies meant they couldn't absorb energy as easily. It was fortunate that the energy at the core had practically reached a solid state, and so it was compressed enough for them to devour their fill. Xu Guanxi and the others were doing their best, but they finally reached their limit a few miles from the core. They were unable to advance another inch, but this place was already enough to give them endless benefits, benefits that surpassed their imaginations. They were doing their best to absorb their own specific energies from the current. If Long Chen continued forward, the current's energy could rapidly strengthen his body, and he would be able to release even greater strength in the future. But he decided not to do that. That was because he felt that doing that wouldn't have any meaning. The body strengthening aspect from the storm zone couldn't compare to enlightenment palace pills. There was no need to waste that time. His energy was rapidly recovering in the current, and he was fully recovered in just two hours. That was too miraculous, as he would have required several days to do the same outside the sea. Once he was recovered, in front of everyone's uncomprehending gazes, he left the storm zone. He walked over to Menki and Tang Wanur. Long Chen, Menki, I'll bring Wanur into the storm zone. She'll be able to gain even greater benefits there. But you, said Long Chen apologetically, it's fine. In truth, the Zhuanshan Sea isn't too useful to me. A beast tamer's body is just too weak. Even if it's strengthened, there's a limit. You should bring Wanur along, said Menki. Menki. Can you endure it? Asked Long Chen worriedly. I'll be fine. I've already grown accustomed to it. I told Wanner to go ahead on her own before, but she refused. This opportunity is rare, so don't waste time worrying about me. Men Ki smiled toward Tang Wanner. Long Chen nodded. He brought Tang Wanner over to the storm zone. When they approached the border, Tang Wanner was clearly under extremely great pressure. She was slightly pale. Long Chen directly activated his divine ring. Blocking the pressure for Tang Wanur, she gratefully smiled toward Long Chen. Let's go. He directly charged into the storm zone with her. With his assistance, Tang Wanur easily entered. The majority of the pressure had been blocked by him. I'll slowly withdraw my strength, so the pressure on you will gradually increase, said Long Chen. 
Seeing Tang Wan Er nod, he began to pull back his strength. Although she had been prepared, Tang Wan Er still jumped. The instant Long Chen began to withdraw his power, she felt like countless mountains had begun collapsing on her. But Long Chen went slowly, giving her a great deal of time to accustom herself. Even so, it took Tang Wan Er two hours before she could just barely endure it. All right, you can absorb the wind energy here. It will increase your comprehension as well as adaptability. I'll come to find you later. After setting up Tang Wan Er, Long Chen returned to the red zone. Seeing Long Chen actually use his precious time to pull Tang Wan Er into the storm zone, countless celestials were incredibly envious. As for the monastery heads, they were lost in thought. Long Chen was sacrificing much to do this. He was giving up his cultivation time. Was he not afraid of being surpassed by others? It had to be known that the cultivation path was filled with struggles. No one would give up opportunities like this, not even if they were giving them up for a wife or a brother. In fact, to obtain such an opportunity, it was all too common for them to turn hostile against their own kin. Why did he go out again? No one understood. Because she was a member of the three peerless beauties. Practically everyone in the Zhuanshan Dao sect knew that Menki was a beast tamer. She couldn't possibly enter the storm zone. He wouldn't. Is he really? People were stunned to see that Long Chen was going toward Gu Yang and the others. Brothers, are you prepared? Long Chen smiled. Boss, are you serious? Gu Yang was startled and delighted. Yes, I'll also drag you guys in. That place will multiply the benefits for you. I just don't know if you dare to or not, laughed Long Chen. Of course we dare. Boss, quickly bring us in, cried Gu Yang and the others excitedly. Even here, they felt themselves strengthening with every passing moment. But the storm zone was something only second rank celestials could enter. Rank 1 celestials didn't even have the qualifications to get close. The benefits there could make a person drool. All right, then the captains can follow me. As for the squad leaders and below, you won't be able to enter, said Long Chen. The Legion's captains were Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and Yu Zifeng. The Dragonblood Legion was composed of 360 members. They were split into 36 squads, each with a squad leader. The four captains were each in charge of nine squads. The squad leaders were the strongest of the squads. But compared to Gu Yang and the other captains, the difference was extremely great. Brothers, I'm cheering for you. Have a good trip. Ha ha ha. Seeing that Long Chen didn't mention him, Guo Ran was extremely relieved. But a single sentence from Long Chen made him turn green. Guo Ran, you're also coming. Boss, my body's too weak. It's even weaker than one of our ordinary brothers. I should stay here and just cheer for you. Aya, boss, please. I don't want to go. I'll die if I go. Please boss, release me. I have a mother, and I want to have babies one day. Begged Guo Ran. But Long Chen ignored him. He simply dragged him over. No matter how he begged, Guo Ran was unable to stop Long Chen's footsteps. All four captains of the Legion have come. As the head general, you can't be excused. Even if you die, you have to die inside the storm zone, said Long Chen as he dragged a wailing Guo Ran. Boom. As Long Chen pushed his divine ring to its peak, the five of them forced their way through the current. However, this time, Long Chen was under extremely great pressure. The tide's strength would adjust itself according to a person's power. Now that he was enduring the pressure for the five of them, he felt a powerful resistance. They weren't celestials, and so they couldn't compare to Tang Wan Er. If he didn't do this, they would be instantly crushed. Seeing Long Chen bringing five people to the storm zone, countless jaws dropped. This was truly ruthless. What a fool. He's wasting such a good opportunity. Pulling in Tang Wan Er was one thing. After all, she's a celestial and has plenty of room to grow. But to drag in five ordinary disciples is just a waste of time. Especially that crying fellow. He's clearly just trash. No matter how good Long Chen's talent is, if he just wastes his time like this, He'll quickly be thrown into the distance, said Xu Yankong. The other experts also nodded. Tang Wan Er was a wind cultivator, and pulling her into the storm zone gave her limitless prospects. Doing such a thing had been worthy of praise, but pulling in five ordinary disciples made people speechless. Was he really so bored? Furthermore, wouldn't those five people be crushed to death as soon as they entered? Chapter 722 The Pain of Shattered Bones Translator Born to be hearing Xu Yankong ridicule Long Chen. Xu Wuhan said, Long Chen has his own thoughts. He doesn't meet the standards of a leader, but he definitely meets the standards of a cultivator. He treats each person by his side as a brother and is willing to entrust his back to any of those brothers. 
That kind of trust is something we can't understand. For example, I can guarantee that Long Chen has his own goal with his current actions. Just because others can't understand it doesn't mean it's foolish. Xu Yankong's expression sank. Xu Wuhan was becoming more and more unbridled to actually say such a thing in front of everyone. She didn't give him the slightest face. The reason why Xu Wuhan could say such things was because she had a peerless genius like Long Chen by her side. It was also because of Long Chen that she had received the favor of the Visect Master. Now her wings had truly grown, and she no longer needed to care about her family head. Xu Yankong's eyes were cold. A young person always feels like they can do unrealistic things once they gain a bit of power. Does he really think he can defy the heavens? Does he think he can escape the restriction of the world's laws? Xu Wuhan smiled disdainfully. In truth, Xu Yankong was talking about her. He was saying it would be arrogant of her to think that she could escape the control of the Xu family. His meaning was that he was the family head, and she shouldn't get carried away by her wishful thinking. She smiled coldly inside. Was a pompous family head position so great? Did he think everyone wanted that kind of position where the only thing you did all day was scheme? She couldn't be bothered to say anything. Her previous words had simply been because she was dissatisfied with Xu Yankong belittling Long Chen. It was unexpected that this old fellow would actually raise the conflict to a new level once she defended Long Chen with a few words. Suddenly, Zhao Xianai interjected. Brother Yankong's words are a bit wrong. A horse dislikes the narrow path, and the great pen hates how low the heavens are. Even the Visect Master has already said that this world belongs to these children. Could it be that Brother Yankong is calling into question the Visect Master's words? You, Xu Yankong raged. Zhao Xianai was too evil to use the Visect Master to suppress him. Although he knew he was only helping Xu Wuhan to cause conflict between them, he couldn't help feeling furious. A-H-H. Suddenly, a miserable shriek rang out. That shriek was like the dying cries of a pig being butchered. It cut off their words, and they hastily looked at the Zhuanshan Sea. At the edge of the storm zone, Long Chen stood while five others lay on the ground. Four of them were bitterly enduring as they constantly vomited blood. But one person was vomiting blood while crazily shrieking. Those miserable sounds were incredibly unpleasant to listen to. Don't worry, even if you break your throat screaming, no one will come to save you, said Long Chen indifferently. He knew Guo Ran was doing this on purpose. He was probing him, wanting to see if he would become soft-hearted and let him off. But Long Chen truly couldn't let any of them off. Once he had brought the five of them in, he had immediately withdrawn half his power. Although he had warned them, they had still been unable to endure it. They immediately collapsed on the ground, unable to move. And even at this time, Long Chen didn't let them off. He continued to slowly weaken his power. The pressure on them continued to increase. A-H-H. I'll die. Guo Ran was crazily screaming. But in the end, the pressure increased so much that he wasn't even able to scream. The unpleasant sound of bones breaking rang out. Everyone's expressions changed and they felt a chill. The storm zone was truly too terrifying. Boss. I. Can't endure. It. Li Qi's voice came from his clenched teeth. Even his ability to speak was quickly fading. He felt like he was about to be crushed flat. There wasn't even room for air in his lungs. That's all right. If you can't endure it, then don't, said Long Chen. Boss. Crack. The sound of bones breaking continued to ring out. Those who had been envious of the dragon blood legion no longer felt the slightest bit of envy. Guo Ran had already fainted. Every single one of his bones had shattered. He had already passed out from the pain, and he had been squashed so flat that his surface area on the ground had increased quite a bit. Even the monastery heads began to sweat from watching this. This was too vicious. What was Long Chen doing? The pain of broken bones wasn't so bad. But now, all of their bones had been shattered to pieces. That level of pain could make a person die. Even if they didn't die, they would definitely go crazy. This was more vicious than any torture. Are you sure these people are Long Chen's brothers? Asked an expert from the Shu family. This is clearly sending them to their deaths. Even if they live, they'll form a huge heart devil and will never advance again. Is this how the 36th Super Monastery raises its disciples? Shut up. If you don't understand, then don't talk. Ordered the Visect Master. Long Chen is giving them a huge opportunity. This Zhuanshan Sea is something our Zhuanshan Dao sect used 108,000 spirit gathering formations to form. Those formations extracted the five regions' most primal energies to create this tide. Within it is a trace of heaven and earth's purest form of energy. 
Long Chen is having these people completely rebuild their skeletons in hopes that they can absorb a trace of that primal energy in the process. That primal energy can increase their chances of becoming celestials in the future. And even if they can't become celestials, they'll still have unlimited prospects once they reach sea expansion. They'll advance much easier than others. If you're ignorant, then keep your mouths shut. As monastery heads, how can you not use your heads when speaking? It's no wonder the disciples you raised are so stupid. Everyone trembled. This was their first time hearing the Visect Master explain the origin of the Zhuanshan Sea. They hadn't known any of this before. Then Visect Master, doesn't that mean we could use the Zhuanshan Sea to create more celestials? Asked the Wang family head. The Visect Master sighed. How could it be so simple? First of all, ordinary disciples aren't even able to get close to the storm zone. You can see that even rank 1 celestials aren't able to do so, let alone them. Only the storm zone's energy is pure enough. Only that energy is able to allow the ordinary disciples to reforge completely new bones. Only rank 2 celestials have the qualifications to enter that zone. If it were you, would you have your peerless geniuses waste their time on ordinary disciples? And even if you ordered it, would they really give up on such a huge opportunity to help others? It's simply not possible. Hearing this, everyone became silent. People were selfish. People might do favors for others if the cost was low. But as for sacrificing themselves to only help out others, that would just be a joke. Even if rank 2 celestials did sacrifice their time to help others, it still wouldn't do anything, said the Visect Master. Why not? Because to use the energy here to reforge your bones completely requires you to endure the pain of all your bones shattering for a total of 9 times. Without a strong enough will, a person will either die or go crazy. 9 times. The experts here felt like they might go crazy. Just hearing this was frightening. This was too vicious. There's no way around it. Without talent, without resources, without a powerful backer, those who want to have higher accomplishments than others must put in more effort than others. They now had a greater understanding of Long Chen and the others. They were all people who had nothing. The things they had were things they had risked their lives to obtain. Only by walking the line between life and death did they have their current ability. Although they were young, these people were worthy of respect. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, even the one with the strongest physical body, Gu Yang, ended up fainting. Only then did Long Chen increase his power to help them block the pressure. He also gave them a healing pill. An hour later, once they had awakened and their bones had healed, he once more put away his divine ring, having them undergo the pain of their bones shattering. The distant dragon blood warriors all trembled. This was their first time seeing Gu Yang and the others in such a miserable state. They were filled with gratitude. When the Dragon Blood Legion had been formed, Long Chen had said that getting stronger was so you could protect the things valuable to you. It was because of that goal that they had chosen to get stronger. As for Gu Yang and the others, the pain they were enduring was to protect all of them. It was to reduce casualties amongst them. Looking at the pain they were in, each of the Dragon Blood warriors wished to endure it with them. Brothers, compared to the captains, we have it too easy. True brothers should go through hardships together. One of the squad leaders waved his hand, and everyone began to force their way deeper into the sea. When they were less than three miles away from the storm zone, they finally had no choice but to stop. Even rank one celestials were only a mile or two ahead of them. The pressure here caused their blood to churn. Some of them were vomiting blood, but their expressions were full of pride. They were sharing in the pain of the captains. This scene deeply shook countless hearts. They were unable to understand how they could possess such sincere emotions toward each other. Quite a few eyes turned red as they watched this touching scene. A-H-H. -H. Boss, I can't endure it. I'm going to go crazy. On the sixth cycle, Guo Ran suddenly began to cry. His eyes scarlet. This torture had brought his mind to the brink of insanity. Then let me ask you. Do you want beauties? Asked Long Chen. Yes. Do you want to be a hero? Yes. Do you want to show off in front of countless people? Yes. What is your greatest dream? I want to be a poser together with boss, roared Guo Ran. Then do you want to continue? Yes. People didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This was both shocking as well as comedic. But only Long Chen knew that the thing Guo Ran liked to do the most was to show off. If it was in order to stand in the spotlight, he would be willing to suffer any pain. Guo Ran's mind had already reached its limit. When it came to will. He was greatly lacking compared to Gu Yang and the others. Only the thought of showing off allowed him to continue. In front of everyone's stunned gazes, Guo Ran really managed to endure having his bones shattered nine times. When he woke up, 
He wasn't crazy. Buzz. Rumbling filled the air, and heaven and earth resonated with it. The tide suddenly came to a stop. Chapter 723 9 Nether World Path Translator. Born to be what? It's over. Asked a startled monastery head. Previously, the Zhuanshan Sea would stay open for at least seven days each time it was activated. But this time, it disappeared after just three days? Even the Visect Master's expression was grim. After a moment of silence, he sighed. Perhaps countless monsters are soaring within the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Visect Master, what's going on? The Zhuanshan Sea is activated at all five regions at the same time. Their energies are connected. In all the previous trials, it had enough energy to last 7 to 10 days. When the Zhuanshan Sea's energy is exhausted to a certain point, it automatically disappears. Now it disappeared after just 3 days. In other words, the Zhuanshan Sea's energy has already been used up. Everyone was startled. Their Zhuanshan Dao sect had entered an unprecedented flourishing period. With the four heavenly geniuses and Long Chen, they had thought they would be able to rival the other branch sects. But this scene before them made their hearts sink. The energy that should have taken seven days to exhaust had all been absorbed in just three days. That meant that other regions had also given birth to many monsters that had absorbed the energy. Ha ha ha. I, Guo Ran, am unrevealed beneath the heavens. No one is my match. Let go of me. Get back. I'm going to start showing off. When the tide retreated, Guo Ran began to laugh as if he had gone insane. Gu Yang and the others hastily grabbed him. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on his forehead. His spiritual strength poured into his mind. See, after undergoing that inhuman torment, Guo Ran had almost gone insane. That was very normal, as his will was the weakest of the five of them. He had only managed to endure with the thought of being able to stand in the limelight. Now that the pressure suddenly disappeared, signs of insanity appeared. It's over. All the suffering you went through was worth it. Your light will blind the whole world. The name Guo Ran will shake the hearts of others. No one will be able to eclipse you. Long Chen used an extremely soft voice, using something similar to hypnosis to calm down Guo Ran's taut nerves. Can I surpass you, boss? Asked Guo Ran. You little brat. You were just acting. Long Chen kicked Guo Ran into the distance. Beat him up for me. No, boss. I was just joking. Don't take it so seriously. Begged Guo Ran upon seeing Gu Yang and the others rub their fists and pull up their sleeves. Long Chen was about to say something when his arms shook slightly. Lai Long and Huo Long had stealthily returned. It seemed no one had noticed them. The two of them both expressed their excitement. The general meaning was that this was their first time being so full. But Long Chen knew that this wasn't Lai Long's first time. It was just that what it had eaten before was just bones, while now it was eating meat. However, it truly was the first time for Huo Long. Long Chen finally sensed a berserk power from it. That was the true level of power an earth flame should possess. Huo Long, since you're full, don't just laze around. Help me refine pills. Long Chen needed a huge amount of enlightenment palace pills. No, not a huge amount. An ocean's worth. He had only just given Huo Long its mission when Men Qi, Tang Wan Er, and the other dragonblood warriors walked over. How do you feel? Long Chen smiled. Amazing. I feel like a completely different person. All the Dragonblood warriors were excited by their gains. Not only had their physical bodies been tempered, but even their spiritual Yuan had become purer and vaster. Furthermore, some of them had even gained a somewhat impure elemental energy. The tide was actually able to give them such immense benefits. They could almost count as elemental cultivators now. A completely different person? Yes, that's right. I feel like I've shed several layers now. Guo Ran bitterly laughed. But it was all worth it. I feel like my body has undergone a heaven-toppling transformation. Gu Yang clenched his fist. When he beat himself in his chest, a drum-like sound rang out. Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were also smiling excitedly. Although they had experienced a hellish torment just now, the profit was worth it. Guo Ran, although your constitution is very ordinary, after undergoing that suffering, your will has become much firmer. And although your physical body can't compare to Gu Yang, it's now many times stronger than an average dragonblood warrior. Don't forget your profession. If your base power has multiplied this much, then you'll be able to. He, you understand, laughed Long Chen. I understand, I understand. Guo Ran's head was still in a muddled state from the pain, but with Long Chen's reminder, he couldn't help feeling ecstatic. His strongest point was his armor, and that armor multiplied his strength. However, that was based on his base strength. If his physical body had increased in power this much, 
then with the multiplication of his armor, his current strength must have reached a point that even terrified him. Then wouldn't I be able to dominate Celestials? Guo Ran was incomparably excited. His eyes were full of anticipation, as if he could already see himself wearing his golden armor, trampling a Celestial under his feet. There really is no curing you. Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen. Suddenly, a cold cry rang out. Long Chen looked in the direction of that voice to see Xu Guan's he icily staring at him. Do you dare to have a life and death battle with me? People were startled. Xu Guan's he was actually challenging him so quickly after his loss. Xiao Wuji, Yu Kianshan, and Song Wuyan were the first ones to comprehend why he would do this. They watched from a distance, expressionless. Long Chen suddenly laughed. I'll accompany you in a life and death battle anytime you want. I know you must have obtained some benefits from the core of the storm zone. Benefits that have made your power increase quite a bit. However, you should get your affairs in order first. Because when you are defeated by my hands again, I will take your life. His words were arrogant. But having already defeated Xu Guan's he wants. No one thought he was just boasting. If Long Chen had wanted to kill Xu Guan's he at that time. And if no one had stopped him. There would no longer be a Xu Guan's he. Xu Guan's he's expression was incomparably dark. This was his greatest humiliation. A grand rank 2 celestial had actually been defeated. And by someone that wasn't even a celestial. Long Chen was correct. Xu Guan's he had gained a more profound understanding of the water element. Even his water runes had changed slightly, making them stronger than ever. He was still unconvinced by his death assuring he had been careless. If he had treated Long Chen seriously from the start, perhaps the conclusion would have been reversed. Now, his power had increased. While Long Chen had wasted his time helping others, he was confident in being able to kill him. So he immediately challenged him to a life and death battle, wanting to kill him to wash away his humiliation. How could Long Chen not understand Xu Guanzi's thoughts? So he wanted Xu Guanzi to go ask for the Dao sect's permission. That was to avoid still not being able to kill Xu Guanzi at the end. Even Long Chen had to use his full strength to fight Xu Guanzi. Furthermore, he had already revealed so many of his trump cards. Xu Guanzi was definitely prepared now. If they fought again, and Long Chen was forced to reveal every last one of his trump cards then it would be completely not worth it if he still couldn't kill Xu Guanzi. But if no one stopped him from killing Xu Guanzi, then obtaining a rank 2 heavenly Dao fruit would be worth exposing his trump cards. All disciples gather. We're moving on to the second trial. The vice sect master's voice rang out and everyone hastily gathered to where they had originally arrived. HMPH. Count yourself lucky, Long Chen. But remember, your life is mine. I might take it any time, said Xu Guanzi icily. That infuriated Gu Yang and the others. They all took out their weapons. Xu Guanzi really knew how to boast. Long Chen waved his hand, stopping them. It's still the same phrase. Whenever you want to die, come find me. I will send you on your way free of charge. Although his expression was calm, Xu Guanzi had truly infuriated him. Long Chen had now completely seen through his temperament. This idiot was precisely a spoiled brat. He had been pampered from a young age. And now he thought of himself as the center of the world. Everything was supposed to revolve around him. Such a person was an idiot. But such an idiot would always do many idiotic things. For example, previously, he had been unable to do anything to Long Chen. So he had targeted the Dragonblood Legion. He had no scruples about doing something so despicable. He had no taboos. And if he allowed this idiot to continue living, he would very likely do something like that again. Long Chen would prefer to not give him that chance. Originally, with the primal chaos beads power, Long Chen should do his best to go slaughter celestials and gather heavenly Dao fruits. But he did his best to avoid that. That would make him a greedy killer, and eventually, he would become captive to his greed. If he couldn't keep his heart clear, then one day, he would do something he would regret. But Xu Guan's he was definitely an exception. Killing him wouldn't make him feel the slightest bit bad. Looking at his back, Long Chen smiled icily. Six hours after they had all gathered, the world suddenly trembled. The scenery around them changed and they appeared at a large mountain valley. Mist completely obscured the inside of the valley. This is the second trial, the Nine Netherworld Path, announced the Visect Master. Chapter 724 Goofing Off Translator Born to be the mountain valley appeared both real and illusory at the same time. It seemed like a painting that was constantly fluctuating. It was clearly there, yet it somehow felt unreal. Mist filled the valley, making it impossible to see what was inside. 
but it somehow felt like endless mysteries were waiting to be explored inside. This is the Nine Netherworld path. It is different from the first trial. This trial is focused on a person's soul and will. Furthermore, there is great danger inside, and there is the possibility of dying at any time. So I would advise people with weak spiritual strength to not participate. Hearing the Visect Master's words, the Dragonblood Warriors all looked at Gu Yang. Gu Yang sighed. It seemed this trial had no affinity with him. His spiritual strength was too lacking. To avoid him being instantly killed by even an ordinary soul cultivator, Guo Ran had made him a protective soul item, and Menki had personally poured her soul energy into it. The Visect Master continued. The Nine Netherworld path is filled with countless dangers. Illusions appear at every corner. If you can't distinguish between what is real and what is an illusion, you will lose your life. Don't think that this trial is the same as the Zhuanshan Sea. This trial is created from spiritual strength. I'm sure you can imagine just how many souls are required to activate such a huge trial. Even Long Chen's heart shook. This trial required souls to activate? Could it be that they had gathered the spiritual strength left by dying experts? I'm sure you all remember that the final trial to enter your monasteries was battling those corrupt corpses. Those corpses are gathered from the battlefields of the righteous and corrupt paths. The souls that are comparatively complete are sealed in the corpses and used as a trial. But on the battlefields of the true experts, the majority of the experts have their souls extinguished in the battle. Their leftover spiritual strength is then gathered to activate the Nine Netherworld Path. So the Nine Netherworld Path contains endless grievance and resentment in it. You'll run into all kinds of dangers. If you sense a danger to your life, you can crush the jade plates that were distributed to you previously. Then you'll be automatically transported out. However, you absolutely cannot assume that this jade plate will save your life. The majority of the dangers inside are targeted toward the soul. It's very likely that you won't even have a chance to crush the jade before dying, warned the Visect Master. Everyone's hearts felt heavy, especially those people without powerful spiritual strength. But the Nine Netherworld Path was one of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's trials. The benefits inside had to be immense. Although the Visect Master had only mentioned the dangers, opportunity and risk existed together. This was definitely an opportunity that couldn't be missed. Finally, let me warn you about one last thing. You absolutely, absolutely cannot try to see your future in the trial. The Visect Master's gaze roved across Long Chen and the four heavenly geniuses. Zhang Wuyan and the others' hearts trembled. To make the Visect Master warn them so solemnly, this matter had to be incredibly important. They firmly remembered his warning. After a couple of hours, the mountain valley in front of them stopped fluctuating. The Visect Master waved his hand. The trial of the Nine Netherworld Path begins now, but this time, people were clearly much more cautious. There weren't any fools who charged in. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's trials were kept as a secret from the disciples, and none of them wanted to be the tester for others. Long Chen, let's go. I can sense there's something I want inside. Men Ki pulled Long Chen and Tang Wan Er toward the valley. Long Chen gave the others a warning before the three of them entered. The valley entrance wasn't huge, being only a hundred meters wide. The heavy mist inside possessed powerful spiritual fluctuations. Men Ki, Tang Wan Er, and Long Chen entered the mist together. The other disciples were constantly paying close attention to them, so they were all shocked once they entered. At that moment, their three spiritual fluctuations completely disappeared almost as if a monster had swallowed them. They felt a chill as this was too strange. But seeing the Visect Master's expressionless face, they could only summon their courage and walk in as well. Long Chen had been holding their hands the whole time, but when he entered the mist, he suddenly felt his hands become empty. At the same time, the mist faded to reveal a mountain path. The mist was still extremely heavy, and he could only see a few meters in front of himself. This mist was extremely strange. His spiritual strength was unable to go through it. There was no way for him to activate his divine sense. Suddenly, a roar came from behind him. Long Chen hastily turned back to see a 30-meter flame leopard attack him. Long Chen was startled. How was it that he hadn't sensed this leopard approaching him? He hastily punched out. But his fist went straight through the leopard's body. It's a spiritual attack. As expected, this leopard was nothing more than soul energy. And it directly attacked his soul. Long Chen snorted. Forming a hand seal, a spiritual arrow shot out of his forehead and struck the leopard. The leopard immediately transformed into incredibly pure spiritual strength and surged toward Long Chen. He was somewhat startled, and he cautiously absorbed a strand of that spiritual strength. How pure! Long Chen was shocked. 
The leopard had actually transformed into pure spiritual strength when it was killed, and it was the kind of spiritual strength that could be absorbed to strengthen a person's soul. Unfortunately, this thing is useless to me, he sighed. His cultivation path was different from other people's. This spiritual strength actually contained a trace of energy that increased a person's mental realm, but he cultivated the nine-star hegemon body art, and his spiritual strength increased with his cultivation base. As for comprehension, he had no need for it. He had no bottleneck to speak of, so he had no need for comprehension. But that flame leopard had truly been extremely lifelike. Furthermore, it was impossible to sense spiritual fluctuations here. Even Long Chen had thought it had been a real magical beast. Long Chen followed the path. Occasionally, more spiritual beasts would attack him, but they were each killed in one blow by him. He realized the benefits that the Nine Nether World Path gave. He didn't know how they had done this, but they had gathered the resentful spirits from the battlefields and turned them into pure spiritual strength. The Zhuangshan Dao Sect's foundation was shocking. At the same time, he felt excitement for Menki and Tang Wanur. The two of them had powerful souls, and the benefits they could obtain here were unimaginable. That was especially true for Menki. This place was practically a holy land for her. As he advanced, the spiritual magical beasts became stronger. But it was nothing to Long Chen. After walking for a long time, a surprising figure appeared in front of him. Shu Guanzi. Long Chen was surprised to run into Shu Guanzi here. Shu Guanzi didn't say a word. However, he suddenly formed hand seals, and a huge water prison appeared around Long Chen. Break. Long Chen roared and his spiritual strength surged out. The water prison was instantly broken. But at the same time, Shu Guanzi disappeared and a transparent figure appeared in his stead. Long Chen shot out a spiritual arrow that caused that figure to explode, filling the air with pure spiritual strength. Long Chen had truly been startled to see Shu Guanzi here. But as soon as Shu Guanzi had used a magical art, he had noticed some clues. The Nine Nether World Path was special, and other than soul energy, no other energy could be used. There was no way for Shu Guanzi to use a magical art. So as soon as Shu Guanzi had attacked, Long Chen had released his spiritual strength, destroying the illusion of Shu Guanzi. After that figure was destroyed, Long Chen sensed a faint aura that made it seem like that figure had had some kind of faint intelligence. It was extremely strange. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to absorb the spiritual strength from that figure. This spiritual strength was useless to him. As long as he didn't use too much of his spiritual strength, there was no need for him to absorb it. He quickened his footsteps as there was something he wanted here. While Long Chen was rapidly advancing, the other disciples had also entered the Nine Nether World Path. There were three others that stayed behind with Gu Yang. They were all people with incredibly weak spiritual strength. If they entered, then just an ordinary spiritual beast would kill them. These four people were all stocky fellows who seemed to specialize in brute force. They looked at each other sympathetically. The Visek master waited until everyone had entered the Nine Nether World Path to take out a strange chessboard. This was no ordinary chessboard. In truth, it was a map. The map revealed an extremely complicated and interweaving labyrinth. There were countless dots of light that slowly appeared. Each of those dots represented a disciple. With so many dots, no one could tell who was who. A. Why is that dot so much brighter than the others? Asked a monastery head. This disciple killed comparatively more spiritual beasts and absorbed more spiritual strength than the others. For someone to already have such a huge lead at the very start, who could it be? One of the monastery heads who had attended the trial multiple times explained. The Visect master pressed the dot and formed a seal with his other hand. The map disappeared, revealing a figure. It's her. That image was of a peerless beauty. With a wave of her hand, a spiritual arrow shot out killing all the densely packed spiritual beasts in front of her. That power was absolutely shocking, but she accomplished it so easily. This woman was naturally Menki. As soon as she had figured out the situation with the Nine Nether World Path, she had begun a slaughter of the spiritual beasts here. Although her spiritual seed had come from Long Chen, absorbing this spiritual strength would greatly strengthen her spiritual sea. She was like a fish in water here. After that, a few other dots rapidly brightened as well. Those people were the four heavenly geniuses, and surprisingly, the fifth person wasn't Long Chen, but Tang Wanur. What is Long Chen doing? The monastery heads were all dumbfounded. It couldn't be that he was goofing off, right? Chapter 725 Future Lake Translator Born to be damnit. How did I end up circling back here? Long Chen was gloomy. 
He didn't know how many spiritual beasts he had killed as he had rushed along. But after countless forks in the road, he had returned to his original location. Continuing like this is out of the question. I have to think of something. This time, he left behind a mark at the fork before continuing. He found that not long after, he appeared on a completely foreign path. Fuck this. I'm not playing this game. Cursed Long Chen. He directly closed his eyes and tried to sense the general direction of the thing he needed. This mace had continuously blocked him. And now, he was out of patience. It's in that direction. Long Chen began to walk in a direction that had no path and was full of mist. Long Chen suddenly took out a saber. The last enchanted saber he had used had exploded after he had used the second form of Split the Heavens. He could only replace it with another. But this was a pole saber. A Yanayudeo. Two thirds of it was the handle. While the blade only took up a third. There was a huge difference compared to the normal sabers he used. However, he had no better weapons now. So he could only use it. After traveling an hour through the mist, a path appeared in front of him, but Long Chen didn't follow that path. Instead, he continued in a straight line toward the thing that he sensed. He didn't know how far that thing was. What he wanted to find was the thing the Visect Master had mentioned at the end. Suddenly, he heard some sounds. Long Chen rushed in that direction. A small path appeared in front of him, and there was a woman lying on the ground, her expression pale and twisted, as if she was undergoing a painful struggle. Long Chen immediately went up to her and pressed a hand on her forehead. His powerful spiritual strength surged into her mind. See, she was currently being attacked by a foreign spiritual strength, but Long Chen's spiritual strength destroyed it. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother. She opened her eyes and looked at him gratefully. Just now, she had been attacked by several powerful spiritual beasts. Although she had done her best to kill them, one of them had managed to invade her mind. See, almost exterminating her soul. With her soul being attacked, she had no time to crush the jade tablet. Just thinking about it filled her with terror. You're welcome. Do you know where the place you can see your future is? Asked Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. She gasped. I just want to gain some experience. I have no other intentions. Have you run into it? I didn't. But I ran into a senior apprentice sister from the 17th Super Monastery who said she ran into Future Lake. That future lake actually took the initiative to ask her if she wanted to see her future. She was so terrified that she fled. She said, future lake? That name does sound pretty magical. Do you know its general direction? Asked Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Are you really planning on going there? The vice sect master said, don't worry. I wouldn't do something as stupid as trying to divine my future. That would just destroy a person's day of heart. I just want to gain experience. Only after hearing this did she say, I remember the location. That senior apprentice sister was very nice and she told me not to go in that direction. If you want to go there to gain experience, I can bring you there. She led Long Chen in a certain direction. After a few dozen turns, even Long Chen was shocked by her amazing memory. It seemed that anyone who could attend this trial was truly extraordinary. We've arrived. Long Chen looked around and saw mist everywhere. He couldn't see anything. He was just about to ask her about this when she said, This is the fork. If you go left, you'll reach Future Lake. I, I don't dare to go. According to that senior apprentice sister, that place is too strange. Then thank you. I'll go take a look. With how terrifying you make it sound, even I'm getting nervous. Laughed Long Chen. Then you really shouldn't go. But, how can you allow yourself to be defeated by fear? Since I've decided to look, then I'm going to take a look. Without another word. Long Chen walked off. The mist completely blocked his vision after just a few steps, and he wasn't even able to see her anymore. He quickened his footsteps. After over two hours, Long Chen still didn't see any lake. He even suspected that she had tricked him, but there was no reason for her to trick him, and after all, he had just saved her. The strange thing was that there were no spiritual beasts on this path. There were also no forks in the road. He could only continue onward. Finally, after six hours, the path came to a dead end. What the fuck? She really did trick me. Long Chen couldn't help being enraged. Do you want to know your future? Suddenly, a spiritual fluctuation appeared. The mist in front of him slowly dissipated, revealing a lake. The lake surface was as flat as a mirror, and the mist around it made it appear extremely mysterious. Long Chen was stunned. Was this lake alive? It was actually able to talk through spiritual fluctuations. I do. But does it cost money? Asked Long Chen. 
The lake was silent for a moment before a figure slowly rose out of the water. That figure was lithe and graceful. It seemed like a woman, but it was impossible to see any clear details. It doesn't cost money, but I'll need you to help me, said that figure. Help you with what? Long Chen was on guard. Bring me out of this place. How am I supposed to do that? Let me enter your spiritual space and bring me out. I'll not only let you see your future, but I'll also raise you into this world's strongest expert. It enticed. Damn. Why does that sound so familiar? It's just like what that old ghost, Gui Sha, wanted. Long Chen suddenly smiled coldly. If my guess isn't wrong, you should be a powerful figure from the corrupt path. Despite your soul already being destroyed, you were still able to reform it. It seems you were truly an amazing person when you were alive. That figure didn't reply. After a moment of silence, it said, You're smart. That guess of yours is correct. Although I died countless years ago, just my name is enough to strike terror into the hearts of countless righteous experts. How does it sound? Little fellow, cooperate with me. Bring me out of here and back to the corrupt path, and then I will give you anything you want. It would be strange if anyone believed such a thing, thought Long Chen to himself. His head was rapidly working. Most likely, this soul was relying on the lake to survive and couldn't leave or attack, which is why it would try to entice him. He shook his head and said, The Visect Master told me that if someone wanted to tell my future here, I was to ignore them. That person is a trickster who will take your life. That's pure nonsense. I have to rely on this lake to live. How could I ever take other people's lives? Those people wanted to see their futures, and all I did was help them. Oh, I understand. You intentionally allowed them to see their future, but you changed the future they saw, making them see themselves dying tragically in order to destroy their Dao hearts, said Long Chen. Wrong. This future lake is actually a projection of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's priceless treasure, the reincarnation mirror. That reincarnation mirror is on the same level as my corrupt path's corrupt god divine skull. How could I have the strength to change what it shows? Long Chen's heart shook. He hadn't expected there to be such a huge secret behind the Nine Netherworld path. He hastily asked, Then can this future lake really tell a person's future? Of course. But I'd advise you not to do that. The future it shows you is true, but it is also false. Divining the future invokes karma, and the reincarnation mirror will not allow that karma to affect it. It will make the asking person bear that karma. Then isn't the Dao sect harming their own disciples? Why would they put such a thing here? Asked Long Chen. This Nine Netherworld path is actually a huge formation made from condensed spiritual strength. Without the reincarnation mirror's projection, it would be impossible to control such a huge formation. Only then did Long Chen understand. This terrifying existence was most likely something that even the Visect Master wasn't aware of. Just now, he had stealthily used his spiritual strength to probe behind him, only to find that his retreat path had been cut off. It seemed that now that this existence had exposed itself, then whether or not he agreed, it wouldn't allow him to leave, but he wasn't afraid. Then can Senior help me with something? Can you use Future Lake's power to help me divine the origin of something I have? That's no problem. I can help you do that, but have you agreed to what I've asked of you? No problem. In any case, I've had enough of the righteous path. Throwing myself to the corrupt path is also fine. However, in that case, I need your help to bring one of my companions over, said Long Chen. Who? It should be the woman whose spiritual strength is the greatest of everyone here except me, said Long Chen. Her, a figure suddenly appeared on the lake. That figure was Men Qi. She had just killed another batch of spiritual beasts and was refining their soul energy. Long Chen was shocked. Or was this to be expected of an existence that could divine the future? He nodded. Senior, please let her over here. She has something I need. Ah, a startled cry rang out and Men Qi suddenly appeared beside Long Chen. She panicked as she had no idea what was going on, but Long Chen said, Men Qi, lend me the soul calming jade. Previously, Long Chen had given the nine line soul calming jade to Men Qi, as it was extremely helpful for her. Men Qi didn't quite understand what was happening, but she took off the pendant from her neck. Long Chen then threw it to that illusory figure. Thank you for your trouble, senior. When Men Qi saw the figure he was talking to, her pupils shrunk. Then looking at the lake water, she immediately understood something. Long Chen was about to do something exceedingly crazy. Chapter 726 Warmth. Then Blood Translator. Born to be Nine Line Soul Calming Jade. That illusory figure was surprised by this jade. Does Senior know the origin of this jade pendant? Asked Long Chen. 
The figure didn't reply to him. It was silent for a while, as if it was trying to gather its determination. You want to use Future Lake to divine this thing's origin. Can it do that? Long Chen was delighted. He had thought that Future Lake would only be able to divine the future. Now that he knew it could divine the past, he could no longer remain calm. You don't even know the origin of this jade. So you definitely don't know the things related to it. I've watched over Future Lake for countless years, and I've managed to find out a few secrets about it. Activating the lake in one way will divine the future, while activating it the other way will divine the past. Do you want to know this thing's future or past? Can I first see its future and then see its past? Asked Long Chen. No. The illusory figure gave him a direct reply. This soul was a monster who could shock both the righteous and corrupt paths. Even with its soul shattered, it had managed to gather again in the Nine Nether World path. That was enough to prove what a terrifying existence it had been. The other souls were all turned into spiritual beasts in the Nine Nether World path. The strength of the spiritual beast was based on the strength of the soul back when it had been alive. But no matter how strong the soul had been, once it was transformed into a spiritual beast, it had no true consciousness. It could only attack the disciples instinctively. But this person was completely different. It was far too powerful. It had recalled some of its memories and was even planning on using Long Chen to escape this place. It had noticed that Long Chen's spiritual strength was incredibly powerful. Only such a person could leave this place with it without being immediately noticed. This was the only chance it had run into in countless years. So it had to make a deal with him. It had advised Long Chen not to look at his future because it was worried that he would see the scene of himself dying. The final scene that Future Lake showed people was the end of their life. Any genius who saw the scene of their demise would become dejected, and their Dao heart would receive a huge blow. Perhaps their martial heart would be instantly destroyed. This was also why the Visect Master had so solemnly warned everyone not to go see their future. Future Lake was the core of the Nine Nether World path. It was something that controlled the entire trial. So there was no way to seal it. He could only ask the disciples not to go there. And even if they were to go there, they shouldn't get close to the lake. When a person's reflection appeared on Future Lake, it would automatically show them their future. But Long Chen didn't need to see his future. What he wanted was to know his past. And that required this mysterious existence's help. Having relied on Future Lake to survive for all these years, it had definitely figured out a few ways to use it. Then just the past, said Long Chen. Men Qi saw that Long Chen was involuntarily trembling. Even in the midst of battle, Long Chen had never been this nervous. She gently held one of his hands and found that it was covered in sweat. That figure placed the jade into the lake. Ripples immediately began to emanate from it. Those ripples eventually stopped, returning the lake to calm. A scene appeared on the mirror-like surface. The jade pendant was in a large hand. A brush left behind two bold and powerful lines. Ha ha ha. The dragon roars at the heavens, looking down arrogantly on the mortal world of dust. My son Long Chen possesses a special spirit root, a divine spirit bone, and supreme spirit blood. He'll definitely become a peak figure above the nine heavens, one who will arrogantly look down on all else. Ha ha ha, it was impossible to see the owner of that hand, but it was possible to hear his domineering and happy laugh. Don't be so loud, Chen Er is still sleeping. Furthermore, Chen Er is also my son and I don't want him to be fighting all day. That was a woman's voice. That voice was full of warmth and pampering. A pair of jade hands took the pendant and brush. After a moment's thought, she left behind some graceful words. Live peacefully and happily, never to be parted. That man grumbled. Ning Shuang, look at how domineering my lines were. Don't you think your lines are a bit out of place? Hmm? He's my son too, and I don't want him to become some hero. I just want him to be able to live happily. And let me warn you, don't treat our son as a tool to fulfill your dreams, she said. Fine, fine, I'll listen to you. The man didn't argue, threading a red string through the pendant. He gently placed it over a sleeping baby, a pair of jade hands and a large, coarse hand gently rubbed the baby's cheeks. Those soft actions made it seem like they didn't even dare to touch the baby's skin, as if they were afraid of harming him. Long Chen couldn't hold back his tears. Those were his parents. He felt like he had once heard those words before. Hearing them again, a sour feeling filled him. That scene suddenly disappeared to be replaced with a new one. The baby was still there, and so was the jade. But those tender hands had disappeared. A pair of slender hands appeared and they could only be described as extremely beautiful. One particular finger wore a ring that had been carved into the shape of a dragon. 
but these beautiful hands were carrying a sharp knife which cut open the baby's stomach, causing blood to spurt. The baby let out a wail. Ah, Menki let out a startled cry. She had never seen such a cruel scene. Who could do such a thing to a baby? The hands didn't stop because of the baby's cry. They cut out a soybean-sized bone from the baby's stomach. That bone was very small, but somehow, it wasn't tainted by the slightest bit of blood. It shone brilliantly and even possessed some sparkling natural lines. Following that, a bottle appeared in one of the hands, and swiftly, a small ball of gas was sealed inside it. That ball of gas was the baby's spirit root, the foundation of a cultivator. Soon after, a syringe appeared in the other hand, piercing the baby's heart. Fresh blood filled it. This blood didn't look the same as ordinary blood. Instead of being scarlet, it was multicolored like a rainbow. That abnormal blood was the baby's spirit blood. Once the spirit blood was extracted, the baby's body immediately dimmed as if a shining jade vase had suddenly turned shabby and cracked. How cruel. Menki covered her mouth. She turned away, crying. Long Chen continued to watch. He seemed to be trying to recall his memories. Those memories were incredibly indistinct. But seeing this scene, it was as if he was experiencing that pain again. However, his expression was completely calm. Nothing could be seen from his face. He's useless now. You can get rid of him, said a voice. It was impossible to see the voice's owner, but from the actions of the hands, it was possible to tell that this was the owner of those slender hands. The voice was extremely moving and feminine. It sounded just as beautiful as her hands looked. Master said to leave him alive. Perhaps he might have some use in the future, said another voice. Up to you. I just feel like leaving him alive is just leaving behind a scourge. Of course, this is just my opinion. The decision is up to you. The scene began to move. The unconscious baby was brought away. Boom. When a new scene was about to appear, an explosive sound suddenly came from the lake. The image disappeared and his jade floated to the surface. Long Chen picked it up and asked, What happened? It was disturbed by some unknown force. This future lake is just a projection of the reincarnation mirror, and the powers behind your jade are too terrifying. The karma involved is too great, so it's normal for the divination to be cut off, explained the illusory figure. All right, I've fulfilled your request. I'm going to enter your mind See, Wait a moment, said Long Chen. What? You want to go back on our deal? You should know that even just my discarnate soul possesses enough power to instantly kill you. The figure instantly turned hostile. HMPH, don't try bluffing with me. If you kill me, no one will be able to bring you out. When will you ever run into someone with spiritual strength as strong as me and capable of concealing your spiritual fluctuations? Sneered Long Chen. Furthermore, I asked for your help divining my past. We've only just started. If this is how you tell other people's fortunes, then your fortune-telling booth would have long since been destroyed by others. You actually want to demand payment from me this quickly? Have you stayed here so long that your brain has rotted? Rumble. The surrounding space began to fluctuate intensely. All the spiritual strength around Future Lake began to gather, forming a huge cage that imprisoned Long Chen and Men Qi. That terrifying spiritual pressure caused Men Qi to turn pale as paper. This mysterious figure was too terrifying. It could easily crush her. Don't use such a childish ploy to scare me. I don't believe you'll kill me. It's not like I said that I wouldn't bring you out, said Long Chen. Hearing Long Chen could still spout such words at this time, Men Qi was speechless. Did he not know how to be afraid? What do you want? Asked the figure. That previous divination can only count as half complete. Help me divine another thing's origin, and whether or not it succeeds, I will bring you out, said Long Chen. Are you sure? I swear on the name of the righteous path, said Long Chen solemnly. The righteous path's oaths are all dog shit, but, I will trust you this once. If you're tricking me, I've decided I won't kill you. I'll make you accompany me here for eternity, that's no problem. Then I'm going to start. I want to divine the origin of my cultivation technique, so prepare yourself. Long Chen squatted and placed a hand in the water. He began to circulate the nine-star hegemon body art. He was filled with anticipation. If he really could learn some of the secrets of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art, that would be excellent. Chapter 727 Reincarnation Mirror Translator Born to be that figure could only once more focus its soul energy on helping Long Chen, but at the same time, it decided it would definitely kill him in the future. It had actually been ordered around like a dog. Buzz. Future Lake trembled. The trembling grew stronger and stronger, until a loud explosion rang out. Huge waves erupted from the lake 
and the entire Nine Netherworld path began to shake. Outside the Nine Netherworld path, the Visect Master's expression changed. The mountain valley was shaking intensely. He had no idea what was happening. Suddenly, in front of everyone's shocked gazes, the chessboard in the Visect Master's hand crumbled to dust. That chessboard was an extremely precious and special enchanted item that was capable of monitoring the entire Nine Netherworld path. But an enchanted item like it had actually crumbled. Even a sea expansion expert's attack wouldn't necessarily be able to damage it. Even the Visect Master, who could easily destroy it, wouldn't be able to make it instantly crumble to dust like this. The Visect Master's expression completely changed. Something's happening in the Nine Netherworld path. What? We have to go save our disciples then, cried Shu Yunkong. Sea expansion experts cannot enter. They'll be destroyed by the laws of the Nine Netherworld path, said the Visect Master. Let's just keep watch. The Nine Netherworld path is connected to the other four regions, so it's not necessarily our side that is causing this. At the same time, in front of the Western Desert, Southern Sea, Northern Source, and Central Plains Nine Netherworld paths, countless experts were completely dumbfounded. They had never seen such a phenomenon before. It was the same mountain valley and the same trial. The only difference was that the people were different. In the Central Plains, at the head Zhuanshan Dao sect, a sea expansion disciple ran into the Zhuanshan Palace, pushing open the doors without a care for the glares from the countless experts. He hastily cried, Cracks are appearing on the reincarnation mirror. The Grand Sect formation is becoming unstable. What? The palace's countless experts hastily flew off. All of them were shocked. They knew what the reincarnation mirror was, and that was why they were so shocked. They quickly arrived at an underground palace. There was a mirror at up an altar there. The mirror was 300 meters wide. Runes revolved within it, appearing like stars. A powerful pressure came from it that made it so even sea expansion experts couldn't approach it. This was one of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's core treasures, the reincarnation mirror. But countless faint cracks had started to appear on the edge of the mirror. All those experts turned pale upon seeing that, if the reincarnation mirror exploded here, then the power it would release would instantly destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect close the Nine Netherworld path's projection. An old voice suddenly rang out in their ears. Sect Master, within the Nine Netherworld path, Menki was filled with shock as she looked at the Berserk Future Lake. Before anything could appear, the lake had erupted like a volcano, as if it had been destroyed by some terrifying force. What did you do? raged the illusory figure. Boom. Future Lake completely exploded. The endless water transformed into spiritual strength that rapidly dissipated into the surroundings. Bastard. The illusory figure charged at Long Chen. It released a berserk spiritual strength, aiming to directly possess him. Long Chen. Shouted Men Qi. It's fine. Long Chen pushed Men Qi back. He smiled at the figure charging at him. Thunder filled the air, and a huge lightning arrow shot forward. A-H-H. How can you possess tribulation lightning? Boom. They were too close, and Long Chen was too strong. That figure let out a mournful shriek upon being pierced by the lightning arrow. Lai Long. Trap it. Following Long Chen's words, a huge lightning dragon flew out and wrapped around that figure. This is impossible. How can any human possibly control tribulation lightning? That figure desperately struggled, filled with terror. Idiot. I have plenty of experience dealing with people like you, sneered Long Chen. From the very start, Long Chen had known that this soul was trying to trick him. The first thing he thought of was the corrupt corpse he had encountered in the monastery's trial. Gui Sha. The soul that was sealed inside the corpse had vainly wanted Long Chen to bring him out. But just from his fiendish aura, it was obvious it wasn't some good fellow. Back then, he had relied on some weak thunder force to escape from his control. Now, the same thing repeated itself. But with Lai Long, how could he be afraid of some spiritual body? No matter how strong a spiritual body was, it would be suppressed in front of tribulation lightning. Thunder Force was the bane of souls, and considering his Thunder Force came from the heavens, there was no way this spiritual body could have done anything to him. Otherwise, Long Chen wouldn't have dared to talk to it like he had. However, having seen a part of his past, the risk had been worth it. The only frustrating thing was that he hadn't expected the Nine Star Hegemon body art to be so terrifying. Future Lake hadn't even been able to start divining its past before being destroyed. What Long Chen didn't know was that if the Zhuanshan Dao sect hadn't closed the projection fast enough, even the reincarnation mirror would have shattered. Men Qi was filled with shock as she watched that terrifying figure being easily captured by Long Chen. 
Although she was used to Long Chen's ability to cause trouble, this was on a whole new level. Men Qi, prepare yourself, said Long Chen. What? Boom. Lai Long suddenly increased its strength, and that figure was completely crushed by its thunder force. Following its destruction, countless spiritual crystals appeared in the air. We really struck gold this time. Men Qi, hurry and absorb them, exclaimed Long Chen. Ordinary spiritual beasts were only able to leave behind some spiritual gas and liquid. But this existence had actually exploded into this many crystal bodies. These crystal bodies would only appear when spiritual strength was compressed to the peak. The amount of pure energy inside them was unimaginable. There's too much energy inside these crystals. I can't absorb this much at once, cried Men Qi. Aya, my wife, when did you become so foolish? Just seal them within yourself and then slowly refine them in the future. I'll help you. Quick, as soon as Future Lake had exploded. The mist here began to dissipate rapidly. It wouldn't be long before everything became clear. Long Chen didn't want others to know what had happened here. So he quickly released his spiritual strength and caught the crystals in the air, bringing them toward Men Qi. Men Qi immediately pulled all of them into her mind see. That caused her to turn pale. Those crystals were too terrifying. And each one of them contained over ten times the spiritual strength she possessed. Immediately absorbing so many of them caused a burst of pain in her soul. Let's go. Long Chen pulled Men Qi into a run, and they hurriedly left this destroyed location. He also stealthily transferred his spiritual strength to her to help her seal the crystals. Over a thousand crystals were now in her mind sea. That was like storing over a thousand explosives in a storage house. If even one exploded, Men Qi's soul would disperse. But now that the mysterious figure had been destroyed, those crystals lacked any master, so Men Qi could control them. Boss. Long Chen was in the midst of rushing away when someone called out to him. He hastily stopped to see Guo Ran. Haha, little fellow, you've finally become a celestial, laughed Long Chen. When Long Chen had pulled the five of them into the storm zone, he had decided to give each of them a heavenly day of fruit after the Zhuanchen Sea disappeared. He had given Guo Ran the fruit from Huo Wufang. Guo Ran was the weakest of them, but he was also the one with the best head. When it came to leading troops, he definitely had a talent. So this second rank heavenly day of fruit would help the dragon blood legion the most when given to him. He, it's all thanks to boss, laughed Guo Ran. Long Chen had told them not to mention some secrets during the trial to avoid others hearing about it. But in truth, he was being overcautious. It was impossible for people outside the Nine Nether World path to hear them. And even the chessboard had been destroyed. How were your gains? Asked Long Chen. He, amazing. I never thought that I, Guo Ran would ever possess such spiritual strength. This is incredibly important to me, and it'll be extremely helpful for my forging. Forging masters also required spiritual strength, but it was just that Guo Ran's natural talent was limited, and his spiritual strength could only be described as ordinary. Now, with the rank 2 celestial's power, he had slaughtered a horde of spiritual beasts, which made his spiritual strength much stronger. Guo Ran felt like a completely new person. The current him had the qualifications to boast to anyone. He was incredibly grateful to Long Chen, and he had already forgotten his misery in the storm zone. All disciples, crush your jade plates to leave the Nine Nether World path. A mishap has occurred with this trial. So it ends now. The Visect Master's voice rang out. Everyone crushed their jade plates, and after a brief spatial fluctuation, they appeared outside the mountain valley. Heavens. Long Chen and the others had only just exited when startled cries rang out. Countless gazes concentrated on them. Chapter 728 Condensing the Enlightenment Palace Star Translator Born to be to be more specific, they weren't looking at Long Chen, but at Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and Guo Ran. The four of them were all releasing powerful heavenly day of fluctuations. That was an inconcealable aura released when someone had just become a celestial. The most shocking thing to everyone was that it was the person most lacking in talent, the one who had cried like a dying pig in the storm zone, whose fluctuations were the strongest. Furthermore, there were two kinds of fluctuations coming from him. He was clearly a rank 2 celestial. How is that possible? Whether it was the Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples, the monastery heads, or even the Visect master, they were completely shocked. Although the Visect master had said that after undergoing the torment in the storm zone, there would be a chance of them becoming celestials. That was just a chance. The probability definitely wouldn't surpass 10%. But now, the four that had entered the Nine Nether World path had all awakened as celestials. Furthermore, 
one was even a rank 2 celestial. If it had been Yuzifan or one of the others, that would be acceptable. After all, they had displayed a shocking will in the storm zone. Even the experts admired them. They hadn't made a sound when undergoing that hellish torment. But it was Guo Ran, the one with the worst talent and the weakest will, who had awakened as a rank 2 celestial. That simply didn't make any sense. However, after a moment of shock, the Visect Master became ecstatic. Although this was inexplicable, it was a great thing for the Zhuanshan Dao sect. An incredibly great thing. The person most excited about this would have to be Shu Wuhan. Now, she had four more Celestials. And one was even a rank 2 Celestial. It was a pity that Gu Yang hadn't entered the Nine Netherworld path. Or it seemed there would have been a large chance of him becoming a Celestial as well. Although she didn't know what exactly was going on. She knew it definitely had to do with Long Chen. Even after all this time. She still didn't know his limits. What are you looking at? What? You don't want to accept that I'm a rank 2 celestial now. Then let's fight. Shu Guanxi and the others' expressions of disbelief irritated Guo Ran. Especially that inconcealable envy in Shu Guanxi's eyes. HMPH. Even if you've become a rank 2 celestial, you're still trash. With your combat strength, any other rank 2 celestial would crush you. Sneered Shu Guanxi. He was entirely correct. Guo Ran would probably even be suppressed by a rank 1 celestial. If he wanted to defeat Chiringa rank 1 celestial, he would have to rely on his cry of the heavenly deos. Having been exposed, Guo Ran was infuriated. How dare you look down on me? I'll slap you just like my boss did. Guo Ran took on a slapping posture, but just as he was about to strike, he felt something was wrong. He raged at Gu Yang and the others. What are you doing? Let go of me. I'm going to teach this brat a lesson. Only then did Gu Yang and the others realize Guo Ran was just finding a way out for himself. They quickly helped him with his act, pulling on him. After all, brothers had to help each other. Guo Ran struggled a few times, but his brothers refused to let go of him. He raged at Shu Guanxi. Count yourself lucky. I'll give my brother's face this time, but don't let me run into you alone. Novaloon.com Long Chen was speechless. He sighed. Even as a rank 2 celestial. Guo Ran still only had such a low-grade acting ability. He hadn't improved at all. Brother, that's pretty much enough. You're a different person from before. And you should change your acting style. Whispered Li Qi. Did anyone run into something strange inside? The Visect Master interrupted their messing around. They hastily became silent and shook their heads. Expressing that they hadn't run into anything in particular. Long Chen also naturally wouldn't stupidly stand out. So he shook his head. Men Qi looked at Long Chen's solemn expression and couldn't help but feel it was funny. Suddenly, she felt that while she was by his side, he would definitely do unimaginable things constantly. Things that could stimulate a person to death. Furthermore, Long Chen's head was clearly not normal. It seemed there was nothing in this world he didn't dare to do. Since everyone shook their heads, the Visect Master said, Something unexpected occurred with the Nine Netherworld path. I'm glad you're all safe. The interruption of this trial is unavoidable, but don't be disappointed that your profits were lessened. The Deo sect definitely won't let its disciples suffer. Due to this, the next trial's rewards will be increased. Go back and rest. As for when the next trial will begin, we'll have to wait for news from the head sect this is actually a good thing. Previously, the three trials were all held continuously, but because there was no time to rest, there was also no time to adjust yourselves to your gains in time for the third trial. The third trial's rewards are the greatest. So use this time properly. The Visect Master waved his hand. And space twisted. They returned to the Zhuanshan Plaza. However, not everyone had returned alive. There were quite a few people lying on the ground as if they were asleep. But their souls had disappeared. There were over 400 of them. And this loss made people's hearts sink. They hadn't expected this many talented disciples to die on the Nine Netherworld path. Seven members from the 36th Super Monastery had died that cast a shadow on people's hearts. Their previous excitement diminished. Reality was just this cruel. If you wanted to get stronger, you had to take risks. No one in this world could become a supreme expert without taking any risks. If you wanted to become an expert, you had to risk your life. If you didn't want to become an expert, you would have to accept that an expert might take your life at any moment. The cultivation world was just that cruel. The monastery heads brought their disciples back to their camps. They began to celebrate. Although there had been casualties, that was unavoidable. Those who survived had to continue getting stronger. Gu Yang and the others were missing from the celebration in the 36th Super Monastery. 
Gu Yang had gone into seclusion, saying that he would also become a celestial. That drew flabbergasted gazes. But Long Chen and the others knew that once he refined the heavenly Dao fruit, he would immediately become a celestial. There was no way around this. Gu Yang's spiritual strength was terrible. In front of the monastery heads, there was no way he could hide the fluctuations of refining a heavenly Dao fruit. Now he finally had a chance. After the celebration, everyone began to cultivate. They had made huge gains in the Zhuangshan Sea and the Nine Netherworld Path. Thus, they took advantage of this period to absorb these gains so they could be at their peak state for the final trial. As everyone else went into seclusion, so did Long Chen. His mind entered the primal chaos space, and he saw Huo Long refining pills. Five Ring Enlightenment Palace Pills Huo Long was actually able to refine Five Ring Enlightenment Palace Pills. It must have absorbed an incredible amount of flame energy from the core of the storm zone. Even its alchemy ability had increased by such a huge amount. Huo Long, thank you. Long Chen saw over a thousand Enlightenment Palace Pills. Huo Long transformed into a small flame serpent and coiled around Long Chen's arm. It rubbed its head against Long Chen. Long Chen felt a childlike emotion coming from it. It's been hard on you. If you're tired, rest. Long Chen rubbed its head. After comforting it for a while, he left the encampment. He directly rushed off, going outside the Zhuangshan Dao sect but he had only just reached the gates when a disciple stopped him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, the trial is imminent. If you leave now, Long Chen frowned. Am I not allowed to leave? No, you can. But the third trial might start at any moment. If you're out and don't make in time, that would be a huge loss for you, warned the disciple. Haha, <laughs> that's fine. Thank you for the reminder. But I'll just stroll around. When I hear the bell to gather, I'll immediately return. Long Chen patted that disciple on the shoulder, grateful for his reminder. He left. He had no choice but to leave. This number of pills would be enough to truly condense the Enlightenment Palace star. Just condensing the cyclone had almost destroyed a training room. Once the cyclone condensed into a star, it would cause a huge disturbance. Long Chen found a large mountain. From here, the Zhuangshan Dao sect was just a dot in the distance. As long as he didn't go too far, it wouldn't disturb the sect, and he would still be able to tell when the trial started. He began to consume the Five Ring Enlightenment Palace pills, shoving them handful by handful down his throat. He had to work fast. Once he reached a certain point in condensing the star, he would have no choice but to finish. If he really missed the trial because of that, he would have an urge to kill himself. Furthermore, he had seen some clues about his origins in the Nine Netherworld path. Now he wanted to see his parents even more. He had to reach the peak of the cultivation world as fast as possible. Even something as amazing as Future Lake had been unable to completely divine the past of the Jade Pendant. That meant some powerful force had disturbed the reincarnation mirror. That was enough to prove how shocking his origins had to be. The thing that startled him the most was that Future Lake had been able to see a corner of his past, but not even the slightest bit about the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Just trying to take a peek had caused it to explode. That made him think of some terrifying possibilities. But the mysteries he had to unravel were too huge, and he still wanted to be able to live after unraveling them. Three days passed without the slightest sound from the Zhuangshan Dao sect on the other hand. A loud explosive sound suddenly came from Long Chen's hand, and a terrifying energy erupted. Chapter 729 Failure to Refine Translator Born to be lightly, lightly, boom, damn it. Although Long Chen had done his best, he had been unable to control it. The instant the cyclone reached its peak, an earth-shattering power erupted and the mountain below him crumbled. Boulders were sent tumbling away, followed by a loud rumbling. Damn, I still ended up causing this much of a ruckus. I have to slip away. Long Chen had no time to examine the changes in his body. He immediately fled a dozen mountains away. When he turned to look back, he saw several people had already appeared there. This disturbance was too great, and so some disciples had come over to take a look. Luckily, Long Chen had slipped away fast enough and they hadn't seen him. Sighing with relief, Long Chen examined his hand. The cyclone had disappeared, and a small star had taken its place. Although it was just the size of sesame seed and just an embryonic form, he felt a resonance with the Feng Fu, Aliyah, and Life Fate stars. He felt endless energy surging out of him. He punched the air. A loud bang rang out and it was like space was about to be blown apart. The Enlightenment Palace star really doesn't let me down. Just the power of my physical body is over ten times greater. Once the star is completely condensed, just how powerful will I be? 
Long Chen was filled with delight at his new strength. Last time, he might have managed to defa during Shu Guanzi, but he knew that his victory had been a bit lucky. If Shu Guanzi hadn't been so careless, it would have been difficult to say who would win. Moreover, Shu Guanzi and the others had definitely gained huge benefits in the Zhuanshan Sea and Nine Nether World Path, but he hadn't gained anything. Although Lai Long and Huo Long had gotten stronger, they were his strongest trump cards, and he couldn't easily reveal them. If he did reveal them, then it had to be for the goal of killing his opponents. Previously, he had still been worrying about fighting Shu Guanzi and Xiao Wuji during the third trial. If he didn't want to reveal Lai Long and Huo Long, then he would have been suppressed. But now, he no longer had to have that worry. Hmm, now that my strength has increased this much, my physical body should be able to endure 1000 caddies of force. Should I try it? Long Chen took out the green dragon scale. He closed his eyes and aligned himself with its fluctuations in an attempt to use his soul to open the seal on it. The dragon expert had refined the essence blood within the scale and also placed a seal on it. The seal was to preserve as much of the essence blood's power as possible. As his spiritual strength circulated, the seal was slowly opened. There was a single drop of green blood inside the scale, and Long Chen drew it into his palm. Boom. Long Chen screamed. He was blown back, wildly vomiting blood and his flesh flying off him. He collapsed on the ground, filled with indescribable pain. Looking down, his soul almost fled in terror. Almost all his flesh had exploded just now. There was only a thin layer of flesh on his bones, and even his internal organs were about to slip out. What's going on? Long Chen was appalled. He hastily circulated the primal chaos space, and his flesh began to rapidly restore. In an incense stick's worth of time, his body was recovered. He was completely pale. That had been too dangerous. He had just been the slightest bit away from a terrible death. He hastily examined the scale. The essence blood had once more been sealed. What? What is going on? Didn't it say that I could try refining the blood once my body could endure 1000 caddies of force? Suddenly, he slapped his leg. Damn it. What a conner. So that's what try meant. He could try to refine it once he could endure 1000 caddies of force. In other words, if he had reached that level, he could try it without instantly dying. Ugh. Thank goodness I didn't try this earlier. Otherwise, I would no longer exist. Long Chen felt a burst of fear. At the same time, his reverence for the dragon expert increased. The dragon had said that this dragon scale was from the molting of its infancy. A baby dragon was a green dragon. For just one drop of its essence blood to be this terrifying, that was practically against the natural order. It was thousands of times more terrifying than the legends. Fine, I'll admit you're amazing. Without fully condensing the fourth star, I won't touch you. Long Chen had an urge to cry as he placed the dragon scale into the primal chaos space. Currently, the primal chaos space was a land of death. As his physical body grew stronger, the energy of the trees inside was clearly not able to keep up with him. One complete recovery had exhausted all the life energy in the trees. Furthermore, his body was still very weak. His flesh might have returned, but he was only at 60% power now. He needed to find some kind of stronger vegetation to replace his trees. Long Chen wearily returned to the Dao sect perhaps it was because of what had happened in the Nine Netherworld path. But the third trial, which should have come right after the second trial, only began half a month later. During that time, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples transformed, each of them becoming full of enthusiasm and energy. When Gu Yang appeared in front of everyone after he awakened as a celestial, they were once more shocked. Now. The 36th Super Monastery had seven Celestials, one of which was a Rank 2 Celestial, as well as a monster like Long Chen. When it came to strength, the 36th Super Monastery was no longer lacking compared to the Super Monasteries of the Four Heavenly Geniuses. This metamorphosis was truly shocking. Previously, Gu Yang, who hadn't attended the Nine Netherworld Path, had said that he wouldn't come out of seclusion until he became a Celestial. At that time, many people had sneered. Did he think someone could become a celestial just because they wanted to? But now that Gu Yang was standing in front of them, those people practically went crazy. He had actually succeeded. However, it wasn't just the five of them who had awakened as celestials after the trials. There was one other ordinary disciple who had become a celestial. But when the odds were compared, they were completely different. Other than Gu Yang's awakening, another shocking matter was that the four heavenly geniuses had all advanced. Going from the 8th Havenstage of Xianchen to the 9th Havenstage, each of them was like a sharp blade, and their auras had completely transformed. 
Not even rank one celestials could get close to them, as that aura would push them away. Their gazes seemed to shine, but when they looked at Long Chen, they couldn't help being somewhat disappointed. He was still at the third heaven stage, and his complexion didn't look very good. He almost seemed like he had been ill. Of course he didn't look good. Only when he had returned had he realized that his meridians had been damaged by the green dragon essence blood. The only pleasant surprise was that when he had healed his meridians, he had found an extremely weak dragon key within them. That was the aura that the dragon blood had left behind. Although that aura had wreaked havoc on his body, this dragon key was slowly strengthening his body. Long Chen hadn't expected to obtain such a blessing. Now, it should be easier for him to refine the dragon blood in the future. He had laid down a solid foundation. However, he didn't try refining the dragon blood again. Although trying again and again could slowly refine the blood, each time he released the seal, he would lose a portion of the blood's energy. That wasn't worth it. Currently, Long Chen's meridians had only recovered by around 80 to 90 percent, so his complexion was definitely not so good. It couldn't be that he overindulged in alcohol and women, muttered one female upon seeing Men Qi and Tang Wan Er. When others heard that, they came to a sudden comprehension. That look made Men Qi and Tang Wan Er blush with both bashfulness and anger. Don't lower yourself to their level, comforted Long Chen. Their expressions became a little better, but his next words made them want to beat him up. If you want to play that kind of game, we can do it any time. It sounds like it's very fun and challenging, Long Chen said in a voice only the three of them could hear. Tang Wan Er had an urge to bite him. Seeing Long Chen flirting with Men Qi and Tang Wan Er, Xiao Wuji was infuriated. Long Chen, pray that you don't encounter me during this trial. If we meet, I'll crush you to a pulp, idiot. Long Chen merely snorted. He couldn't be bothered to say anything more. Such a person had definitely been spoiled into an idiot by the grown-ups around him. He was someone who was not in touch with reality. Whatever he wanted, he got. And so he never cared about angering others. But when others angered him, it was like they had to pay with their lives. In his eyes and also the other heavenly geniuses, they were the pride of this world. Others were only there for them to trample on and play with. They were strong, and they had powerful backers, so they had no need to respect others. Long Chen had already seen many such people, and he had also killed many of them as well. Only when they were about to die did they finally understand what terror was. But regretfully, Long Chen never gave them much time to feel it. He directly sent them to be reincarnated. So, he was too lazy to bother with such people. If they truly provoked him, then he would directly kill them. At this time, the Visect Master appeared. Everyone became silent and straightened their backs. Quite a few of their hearts tensed. The third trial was about to begin. Chapter 730 Nether World Heaven Staircase Translator Born to be Long Chen and the others appeared at Appa Mountain. In front of them was a huge stone staircase. The staircase was extremely wide with each step having a surface area of several thousand meters. The staircase soared high into the clouds, so high that it was impossible to see the end. This is the Zhuanshan Dao Sect's Martial Gathering's third trial, the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. The Vice Sect Master's words rang out in everyone's ears. This staircase is made of stone from the world of the dead. The formation carved into it is able to grab hold of something that doesn't exist in the physical world. Adopt the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. Each person will be able to gain karmic luck. Karmic luck is something ephemeral and mysterious, but it truly exists. Those who can become peak experts all possess extremely great karmic luck. No matter how high a person's cultivation base reaches, no matter how strong they become, if their karmic luck is terrible, they will constantly run into pitfalls and dangers, and they will sooner or later fall. As for all of you, you've risen above countless others. You cannot argue that a great deal of that was because of luck. So this trial is extremely important to you. Do your best to climb as high as possible. With each step you take, more karmic luck will gather on you. Everyone was absolutely shocked. Those whose cultivation bases had reached their level had all come into contact with things that others couldn't. This so-called karmic luck was a blessing the heavens bestowed on its creatures. Although there was no solid evidence that proved karmic luck existed, anyone who had cultivated to their level firmly believed in it. The slightest increase in karmic luck could completely change a person's destiny. It could turn danger into safety, disaster to fortune. It was an extremely inconceivable existence. It was completely unexpected for the Netherworld Heaven Staircase to be able to increase a person's karmic luck. This was an absolutely heaven-defying treasure. They were all eager to get started. The Visect Master continued. 
there are 999 stairs. Between each of the large stairs lie 99 smaller stairs. Now according to the rules, I will explain the rewards for the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. Everyone should listen closely. There were actually more rewards? Everyone was ecstatic. This Netherworld Heaven Staircase was truly worthy of being the final trial. Any disciple who can reach the 333rd, 666th, or 999th step will receive a reward. As for what the reward will be, no one knows in advance, because those rewards are given to you by the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. It is decided by a person's karmic luck. There are possible good rewards, and there are possible trash rewards. It will be up to your karmic luck noveloon.com furthermore. On the 999th step, there is a platform. The final reward is on that platform. As for what the reward is, no one knows. These rewards were set up by the head sect, but I can guarantee that the rewards will surpass your wildest imaginations. Shu Guanxi and the other experts' eyes began to shine. They had obviously decided that they had to get that final reward. All right, it's time. The Zhuangshan Martial Gathering's final trial begins now. The eager disciples, who had long since been impatient to begin, charged. But they had only just stepped onto the Netherworld Heaven staircase when their expressions changed. They felt like they had entered water, and their footsteps became slow. They not only felt physical pressure, but they also felt a pressure on their souls. Furthermore, a kind of lazy, weary feeling filled them. One made them feel like they would rather take a good nap than continue climbing. Long Chen also felt this strangeness when he stepped onto the first step. He told his people, the Zhuangshan Sea was a trial for your physical bodies, while the Nine Netherworld Path was a trial for your souls. This Netherworld Heaven Staircase combines both aspects and more. It targets a person's physical body, soul, will, and even the desires deep within their heart. It will cause a feeling of laziness and other negative emotions well up within you. However, that should be nothing to you. Brothers, you're all warriors who have tempered yourselves through blood and fire. Bring out your hot blood and youthful passion to let everyone see what true experts are. Encouraged Long Chen. Charge. The dragon blood warriors morale skyrocketed, and ignoring the negative emotions the staircase gave them, they rushed up. At this time, the bisect master waved his hand, and the stone stage beneath him and the other experts who had accompanied their disciples here began to rise into the air. Sitting on the stage, it was possible to see everything happening on the staircase clearly. I wonder whether anyone will be able to get the final reward this time, muttered one monastery head. That was because in the past, no one had managed to reach the 999th step. And even if someone did manage to reach the 999th step, they wouldn't necessarily be able to obtain that final reward. There's a very high chance this time. At the very least, there's a high chance for five people. A rare smile appeared on the Visect Master's face. Five? Isn't there another person who just advanced to a rank 2 celestial? The Visect Master's expression became odd as his gaze fell on Guo Ran, who was currently waving a large flag and cheering for everyone. He sighed. To tell the truth, in all my years, I have never seen such a weak rank 2 celestial. My eyes really have been opened to the world. Everyone else nodded as they looked at Guo Ran. He truly was a marvel among cultivators. Combined with Long Chen, they could be called the two great marvels. As they were talking, there were five people advancing at the same speed, far ahead of the others. They had already reached the hundredth stair. These five people were Xiao Wuji, Xu Guanzi, Zhang Wuyan, Yu Kianshan, and Long Chen. It was impossible to help others on the staircase. So Long Chen didn't need to look after the others. He advanced just as quickly as the four heavenly geniuses. This proved without a doubt that Long Chen's power matched theirs. Many people who had been unconvinced before finally had to shut their mouths. Long Chen might have defeated Xu Guanzi previously, but many people thought he had just been lucky, and that Xu Guanzi had simply been careless. Then, the four heavenly geniuses had made huge gains in the Zhuangshan Sea and the Nine Netherworld Path, while it seemed Long Chen hadn't gained anything at all. Due to that, Many people thought Long Chen had lost the qualifications to stand shoulder to shoulder with the four heavenly geniuses. But now, the five of them were advancing at the same speed, and they seemed to be competing with each other. All of them refused to lose, so it clearly showed his strength. The five of them had rapidly reached the hundredth stair. Long Chen immediately felt the pressure double, but they continued rushing forward without a pause. Obviously, they had already begun to compete to see who was the strongest. Behind Long Chen was a mass of celestials. They had reached the 80th step, but the difference was already clear. 
Menki and Tang Wanner were holding hands as they rapidly advanced. They were at the frontmost of the rank one celestials. They seemed just like fairies who had descended on the world, and they were the most beautiful scene on the netherworld heaven staircase. Behind the celestials were the ordinary disciples, with the dragonblood warriors at the front. As for the genius Guo Ran, he was actually shamelessly hiding amongst them. However, to express his grand and noble character, he waved a banner back and forth, cheering everyone on. That righteous act of his made it seem like he had sacrificed his chance to compete for first place with the other top experts in order to help raise everyone's morale. The people behind the Dragonblood Warriors were clearly slower. They were like a flock of sheep, and they ended up forming a twisting dragon on the staircase. At this time, it was possible to tell a person's overall ability. Many people had no problem with the pressure to their physical bodies and souls, but their wills were clearly a fatal weak point. The person in the last place had only reached the sixth step. As he looked up at the endless staircase, a bewildered and lost expression appeared in his eyes. The monastery heads didn't feel any shock or anger at that scene. That was because they knew just how bizarre the netherworld heaven staircase was. They had also once climbed it, so they knew what agony these disciples were going through. Once you were tired, once you were weary to the bone, or perhaps once your confidence lagged, negative emotions would erupt within you. A voice would tell you to give up, that you couldn't hold on for much longer. So why must you force yourself? It would entice you, seduce you, tell you that this staircase wasn't as magical as you once thought. Karmic lock? That was just nonsense. A story to trick people. That voice didn't come from outside, but from within. It came from the lazy part of a person's heart. Every person had a lazy side. If your will wasn't strong enough, you wouldn't be able to suppress it. On the netherworld heaven staircase. Your will was constantly tested, and it would make it far too easy to give in. This was something unrelated to talent. So each time the netherworld heaven staircase was activated, a few extremely talented disciples would end up falling behind some disciples with a rather average talent. That was because their superior talent made their will less steady. Boom. Suddenly, the staircase trembled slightly. Everyone was startled, and hastily looking up, they saw five people had already reached the 333rd stair. When Long Chen and the others arrived at the 333rd stair, their shoulders sank slightly as a powerful pressure collapsed on them. This pressure didn't just target their bodies, but also their minds. It made them feel extremely weary. Long Chen felt that impact especially, but he ignored it. This kind of weariness was just a feeling, or perhaps it could be called a misperception. You couldn't be confused by it. If you were, it would give birth to negative emotions, and then it would be even harder to suppress it. Each space beside the five of them trembled, and a ball of light appeared. Those balls of light were only a foot wide. They were like small whirlpools, and it was impossible to see what was inside them. Those are your rewards. Reach into the light and pull out what you were given, said the Visect Master. Seeing that Long Chen and the others had received a reward, the disciples that were bitterly climbing were filled with anticipation. Just what would their rewards be? Since no one else wants to, let me go first. Yu Kianchen reached into his ball of light and pulled out a certain item. Chapter 731 Weapon Forging Diagram Translator Born to be Yu Kianchen pulled his hand out of the ball of light. He pulled out a nine-ring pill. A barrier-breaking pill. There was a nine-ring barrier-breaking pill that was extremely precious, and could allow a Xianchen expert to advance a minor realm. Regretfully, it was useless to Yu Kianchen, who had reached the ninth event stage. The next level for him was sea expansion and that was not a minor realm increase. However, this pill was still extremely valuable. Even if Yu Kianchen couldn't use it, he could give it to others. Let's take a look at mine. Xiao Wuji also took action. He pulled out a set of mirror armor that looked not bad. Trash. Xiao Wuji cursed. This armor might be useful to others, but it was useless to him. Shu Guan's he pulled out a yellow talisman. The talisman released an extremely dense water energy fluctuation. Shu Guan's he was delighted and before the others could examine it carefully, he put it away. Everyone's hearts shook. Perhaps Xu Guan's he had truly gained a treasure. Zhang Wuyan also pulled something out, but her luck was rather lacking. She gained a weapon, but it was an extremely specialized weapon, a hook. Few people ever used such a thing. Although it was an enchanted item, it was the lowest possible level. Its value wasn't very high. Enchanted items were used by sea expansion experts. The runes on them could be activated to release massive power. They were categorized into low, middle, and high grade by the material they were made of and the runes carved onto them. 
a low-grade enchanted item disappointed Song Wuyan. Now the only one left was Long Chen. He also reached in and pulled something out. Damn it. Looking at what he had obtained, he couldn't help but curse. He had obtained a pair of boots, and they were actually shabby. They had clearly been worn. Everyone was stunned for a moment. Even the Visect Master and the others couldn't believe their eyes. Long Chen's luck really is heaven-defying, sighed the Visect Master. The Visect Master knew that the Netherworld Heaven Staircase's rewards were divided into different levels. On the 333rd stair, the treasures were split into three grades. High, medium, and low. But there was also a fourth possible reward. Trash. The probabilities for the 333rd stair were 5% high grade, 30% medium grade, 63% low grade, and 2% trash. Other than the medium grade treasure Shu Guans he had gotten, the others had all obtained low grade treasures. But Long Chen had obtained a pair of shabby boots. That was just trash. It truly is heaven defying. But doesn't it seem like all their luck isn't very good? Sighed someone. Their luck truly was lacking. It was just that when compared to Long Chen, the other's luck could count as not bad. Haha, <laughs> shabby boots really are a perfect match for a bumpkin, sneered Shu Guanzi. Long Chen furiously threw the boots at Shu Guanzi's face. Shu Guanzi dodged, smiling coldly. He was just about to say something when his expression changed. He hadn't expected Long Chen to have put so much thought into this attack. He had thrown the boots with one in front and one behind. The back one aimed for the spot he would dodge. It almost struck him. Although he just narrowly managed to dodge it, the boot flew right past his nose. He even smelled the disgusting scent from it. Bastard. Shu Guan's he was about to attack in fury when the lights beside them disappeared and Song Wu Ian took the initiative to charge forward. The rest of them were startled and hastily followed. Shu Guan's he had no choice but to suppress his fury. This was more important. This would decide who was number one. Not long after the five of them had rushed off, Men Qi and Tang Wanner arrived. Balls of light appeared beside them. Men Qi reached in and pulled out a jade tablet. Three large words were written on it. Soul Drawing Art. This girl's luck truly is good. That soul drawing art is an extremely high-level soul art. It's practically a priceless treasure. Praised the Visect Master. Men Qi was absolutely delighted. Inserting her divine sense into the jade tablet. She found there was an extremely profound magical art recorded inside it. That was precisely what she needed. Within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, there were very few high-level soul arts, and many of them hadn't been suitable for her to train in. This soul drawing art was actually a combined cultivation technique and an offensive magical art. She had an urge to immediately start studying it. Compared to Men Qi, Tang Wan'er's luck wasn't so good. She obtained a soft armor, but from the shape, it was made for a man. She could only put it away and see if anyone else needed it. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er continued on. The other celestials also arrived, but most of them didn't obtain anything extraordinary. After them were the Dragonblood Warriors. They possessed the strongest wills, and they arrived without the slightest hesitation. That had only one thought, and that was to follow Long Chen's footsteps. As for the great genius who had been waving his banner and cheering for everyone, he was now all cheered out. People had had to drag him here. Stop pulling me. Just continue onward. I'll rest here for a bit and catch up to you later said Guo Ran weakly. Guo Ran felt like lead had been poured into his body. Each step was tiring. He was exhausted as if he had just experienced an immense life and death battle. All he wanted to do was to collapse and sleep. I can't. Boss said that you had to at least reach the 333rd stair, or it would be too embarrassing, said one dragonblood warrior. He was practically dragging a limp Guo Ran. This made the monastery head speechless. He truly was history's weakest rank 2 celestial. It was with great difficulty that Guo Ran allowed himself to be dragged up to the 333rd stair. He wearily stretched his hand into the ball of light beside him. But when he saw the tome he had pulled out, his eyes popped wide open. In fact, his eyes almost popped all the way out. Weapon forging diagram. The seemingly half-dead Guo Ran instantly revived. Those negative emotions were flung aside by him. This was a secret tome regarding forging arts. And there were detailed explanations about forging. There were both foundational principles as well as designs for high-level weapons. This was what Guo Ran had always longed for. Although he had obtained the ethereal crafting secret record, a practically divine text that had been written in immortal characters about forging, the principles recorded in it were too advanced. He was only able to comprehend less than 1% of it. Although he had obtained as many secret tomes as possible about forging arts, those things were too rare. 
Even the 36th Supra Monastery hadn't possessed very many. Furthermore, those secret tomes were too low grade. They hadn't been of much assistance to him at all. Now, this weapon forging diagram made up for his deficit. What are you all doing? How can you act so lazy? You can't even overcome this little hardship. Guo Ran seemed like a completely different person. He said, I was only testing you just now. Did you really think I couldn't continue any longer? I was giving you a display about what not to do. What are you just standing there for? Hurry up. Don't you see boss has already climbed so high that we can't even see him? Look, Gu Yang so far that his butt is growing smaller and smaller. We've already been thrown into the distance. But brothers, don't worry. Charge with me. No obstacles will block us from following boss. We'll let this world see our hot blood and youth. Whether it was the disciples on the Netherworld Heaven Staircase or the experts spectating, they were all speechless. Looking at the revived Guo Ran, some of them even believed his nonsense. Crash. Another disciple collapsed on the ground. Currently, hundreds of disciples had collapsed on the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. They felt too tired. They didn't even have the energy to lift a finger. All they wanted to do was sleep. How regretful. If only they had reached the 333rd stair, they would have obtained even more benefits. Sighed a monastery head. This final trial's benefits were hard to imagine. Even if you were just sleeping, the Netherworld Heaven staircase would allow them to enter a special state that would be extremely helpful to their future advancements. Each extra step would increase the benefits, and the 333rd stair was a dividing line. After passing it, the benefits would be dozens of times greater. It was regretful that despite knowing that, they were unable to help their disciples. This was something related to their will. They had also climbed this staircase before, so they knew just how difficult it was. It was practically impossible to block the silent invasion of your negative emotions. Only the Celestials had it slightly better. That was because they were the favorites of the heavens. They were assisted by the heavenly Deos, which helped to suppress their negative emotions. But the ordinary disciples didn't have that advantage. They had to rely on their own will to defaturing their negative emotions. It was truly too difficult. After six hours, only half of the 100,000 disciples managed to reach the 333rd stair. The rest had all collapsed, sleeping on the lower steps. Furthermore, after the 333rd step, the pressure would increase. Some people had only taken one or two steps after obtaining their reward when they were unable to continue any longer. More and more people collapsed. With each passing breath, several disciples lay down, and once they lay down, they wouldn't get up until the trial was over. Boom. The Netherworld Heaven staircase trembled. Everyone looked up to see five figures had already reached the 666th stair. They really are monsters. A powerless row rang out in those disciples' hearts. Chapter 732 Brilliant Feather Dress Translator Born to be Long Chen and the others were still neck and neck. They arrived on the 666th stair together. Long Chen was breathing a bit heavily now, but he saw that Xu Guanzi and the others didn't seem the least bit tired. That surprised him. They truly were worthy of being the four heavenly geniuses. This kind of perseverance was admirable. Even he felt that some of his negative emotions were starting to stir, and he had to force them down. What he didn't know was that he was the most shocking one to the Visect Master and the Monastery Heads. It had to be known that the Heavenly Deos would block 10% of the Netherworld Heaven Staircase's power for Rank 1 Celestials. As for Rank 2 Celestials, 30% of the power would be blocked. But Long Chen, who wasn't a Celestial, was still neck and neck with the Rank 2 Celestials. That was monstrous. Even those old fellows with so much experience had their jaws drop. The Visect Master was shocked as well, but he put on a calm expression. However, in truth, he was wondering whether he should call the sect master over. Such a fellow might be worth directly sending to the central plains. Ha ha ha, this thing's not bad, laughed Xiao Wuji as he took out a warhammer from his ball of light. The hammer head was huge, even larger than a table, and earthen runes shone on it. The powerful pressure coming from it showed that it was a terrifying heavy weapon. A middle grade enchanted weapon and one with earth element runes. Xiao Wuji really is lucky. Heavy weapons were already rare and for the runes carved onto it to match Xiao Wuji's element, it was practically tailor-made for him. Ha ha ha, the final treasure will be mine. Xiao Wuji was filled with confidence now. Xu Guanzi and the others' hearts sank. Xiao Wuji had always been a power-type fighter. Now this heavy weapon would cause his power to increase explosively. HMPH. Xu Guanzi snorted and also reached into his ball of light. But this time, 
His luck wasn't so good. It was a set of armor and a metallic kind at that. It was not suited to him at all. Furthermore, it was just a low-grade enchanted item. It wasn't useful at all. Shu Guan's he was dissatisfied, but he acted as if he didn't care and put it away. Zhang Wuyan's luck was not bad, and she obtained a middle-grade enchanted sword. However, it wasn't useful to her, as she possessed weapons that were more suitable to her. Yu Kianchen received a secret tome about formations. It was useless to him, but it wouldn't be useless to his sect if you were unable to use something. You could exchange it with the Dao sect for treasures better suited to you. Long Chen reached into his ball of light. This time, he didn't pull it out immediately for fear of embarrassing himself again. He felt it carefully. It appeared long, and it didn't feel bad. When he pulled out that long thing, he couldn't help being stunned. It was actually a belt. The belt was new, and it had been made of black silk. It was extremely high-end and grand. And then, and then there was nothing else to say about it. The odds for the 666th stair were as follows. 1% high grade, 60% middle grade. 38% low grade, and 1% trash. To have pulled out trash twice, his luck was truly heaven defying. Long Chen didn't particularly care. He directly wrapped the belt around his waist. In truth, this belt truly did match his disciple robes and made him appear more handsome. Trash, sneered Xu Guanzi. It was unknown whether he was talking about Long Chen or the belt. Yes, but I have no choice. If I wasn't forced, I definitely wouldn't accompany trash like you said Long Chen helplessly. The light balls disappeared and they had no more time to fight with words. They once more began rushing onward. But now, their speed had clearly dropped. Long Chen felt like he was wading through mud. The resistance was extremely high, and it was exhausting. Moreover, he didn't know whether it was actually exhausting or just a misperception. He had to constantly circulate his own strength to keep an equilibrium with the exhaustion. Doing that required constant adjustment. He couldn't allow himself to get nervous or panicked, let alone be invaded by his negative emotions. The true trial only started now. While Long Chen was pushing forward, the vice sect master was lost in thought. It should be essentially impossible for a genius to pull out trash twice. It had never happened before, and it shouldn't be a coincidence. But if it wasn't a coincidence, Long Chen and the others were still pushing on. But after less than a hundred stairs, they had become covered in sweat and began gasping for breath. The exhaustion had already begun to silently invade their minds and bodies, but their wills were strong, and they ignored it. They continued rushing forward, refusing to fall behind the others. From the start, they had matched their strength. Not one of them was willing to fall behind. That would not only prove they weren't as good as them, but it would also cause them to lose out on their chance to fight for the final reward. Furthermore, if they did fall behind, that would shake their confidence. Perhaps it wouldn't cause problems elsewhere. But on the netherworld heaven staircase, even the slightest disturbance would allow their negative emotions to overcome them. Once those negative emotions appeared, it was very difficult to completely erase them. So now, they could only persevere. In truth, the best option would have been to slow down for a while. After adjusting themselves, they could continue forward. But if one person slowed down and the others didn't, they would just be thrown behind. Despite knowing it would be best to change the rhythm, they couldn't. Others would all assume that whoever slowed down had weaker endurance and was weaker. As geniuses, none of them were willing to admit they were weaker. So if you ride a tiger, it's hard to get off. Long Chen also wanted to know just how tough a rank 2 celestial was. He didn't believe he couldn't surpass them. He was different from them. Starting from Phoenix Cry, he had relied on his strength to kill his way out. He refused to believe he couldn't defeat Ring some spoiled brats. Despite being weary to the bone. Long Chen clenched his teeth and pressed on. What he didn't know was that Rank 2 Celestials were basically natural-born cheaters. He was at a huge disadvantage. If he were also a Rank 2 Celestial, he would have long since traveled so far that they wouldn't even be able to see him. The five of them were stuck advancing as fast as they could, despite being exhausted. Furthermore, they had to act so calm and easygoing in order to cast a shadow on the other's hearts, in hopes that they would give up earlier. If one person slowed down, then they would be the loser. But then the others would also have a good reason to slow down together. By the time they had reached the 700th stair, Tang Wanner and Men Qi, who had been over 200 stairs behind them previously, had already reached the 666th stair. That was because Long Chen and the others had slowed down a great deal. Brilliant feather dress. Tang Wanner obtained a dress made entirely of feathers. The feathers were overflowing with colorful lights. 
When that dress appeared in her hand, the Visect Master couldn't help being shocked. That was a high-grade enchanted item. It was composed of the feathers from 99 different powerful magical beasts and refined through a formation. Wearing that dress would greatly increase her defense. In fact, it would be able to block the full-strength attack of a late-sea expansion expert. It was an absolutely amazing treasure, and the feathers also contained the magical beast's bloodline power. By infusing it with spiritual strength, it was possible to activate the bloodline power and increase the user's defensive strength to a whole new level. Sister, this is a defensive enchanted item. It's just what you need, said Tang Wanur. Wanur, as a soul cultivator, I don't face my opponents head on. You need this more. Keep it. Menki shook her head. She could see that this feathered dress's defensive strength was terrifying. So she wanted Tang Wanur to keep it. Sister, since I said I'm giving it to you, take it. If you don't, I'll just throw it away. Menki was extremely moved. She knew Tang Wanur's temperament was extremely direct, and she didn't like beating around the bush. If she refused, then Tang Wanur really would just toss it away. She could only take the dress, sending her spiritual strength into it. The dress suddenly brightened and directly appeared on her. The multicolored feathers lit up her face, making her appear too beautiful to even touch. Sister, you really are beautiful. It's too bad that that scoundrel knows how to run ahead while sticking his butt out. Tang Wan'er looked at Long Chen's figure. Long Chen was exhausted but still pushing on. So of course he didn't have time to look back at how beautiful she was. Thank you. Men Ki smiled. Circulating her spiritual strength. The dress disappeared and a small feather appeared in her hair. Looking just like an ordinary hairpiece. This was another form of the brilliant feather dress. And an advantage of this soul item. If Men Ki was attacked. It would automatically activate to protect her. If there was no danger. It would stay in this feather form. It would use Men Ki's soul energy to nourish itself. Check your luck too. Said Tang Wanur. Men Ki reached in and pulled out a white pearl. The pearl released powerful spiritual fluctuations. Soul fixing pearl. How could her luck be this good? Cried a monastery head. This was a high grade treasure as well. Chapter 733 900 Stair Translator. Born to be technically. The chance of obtaining a high grade treasure was the same as obtaining trash. Long Chen had obtained trash twice. His luck was heaven defying. As for Men Qi, she had obtained a high grade treasure twice. Her luck was also heaven defying. It was truly a stark contrast. As for Tang Wanur, her luck had been average last time, but this time, she had obtained a high-grade treasure which was an extremely rare soul item. How could there be such a difference? Looking at that figure that was rushing higher, everyone had a bewildered expression. Was this simply the difference between people? That soul-fixing pearl was an enchanted item used to assist cultivation. It was a treasure that would make soul cultivators go crazy. It was an extremely rare treasure that could increase a person's soul energy. But it was a one-use item. Once the energy inside it was used up, it would shatter. However, the soul energy inside it was enough to turn someone with an incredibly weak soul into an expert. Sister, you should take this, said Men Ki. Tang Wan'er shook her head. My spiritual strength might not be as strong as yours, but it's still very strong. It would be better to leave it for Gu Yang. His spiritual strength is too weak, and just a defensive soul item isn't a guarantee of protection. Men Ki nodded. Although Tang Wan'er's spiritual strength wasn't as great as hers, it was still far and above average. This soul-fixing pearl would only increase her soul energy by a maximum of 10%, but if it was given to Gu Yang, then his soul would become above average amongst these elite disciples. Although he wouldn't be able to fight others with his soul since he had no experience or talent in that regard, at least he wouldn't be instantly killed by soul experts. Men Ki looked behind her at Gu Yang and the others. They were already covered in sweat. Gu Yang, work hard. I'll leave this reward with you. Men Qi tossed the soul-fixing pearl directly to him. Gu Yang gratefully caught it. He had heard all their previous words. Don't worry sister-in-laws. I will definitely meet your expectations. The laughing Men Qi and Tang Wan'er immediately turned red. How could this fellow say such coarse words? They hastily continued on their way. Gu Ran, hold on. You'll be able to get a reward soon. Gu Ran was doing his absolute best to persevere but he had reached his limit. His burst of energy had been completely used up. It took four dragonblood warriors to drag him along. Gu Yang and the others also reached the 666th stair and received their rewards. Some of those rewards were high grade. Some were low grade. They couldn't compare to Men Qi and Tang Wan'er, but they were still extremely excited. After obtaining their rewards, 
they felt even more drive to climb higher. The rewards this time were a whole level higher than last time. A high grade reward at this level was better than a high grade reward at the lower level. Then the next reward had to be beyond their imaginations. Other than Long Chen's group of five, there was no longer any sense of order on the Netherworld Heaven staircase. The disciples were scattered all around. Over 20 celestials were led by Gu Yang, then Yu Zifeng, and then Li Qi and Song Mingyuan. When it came to perseverance, they were on a much higher level considering they had undergone the pain of their bones shattering nine times. They were over 50 stairs ahead of the other celestials. Behind the celestials were the dragon blood warriors and Guo Ran. They also began to collect their rewards. Guo Ran, wake up, take out your treasure. One of them slapped Guo Ran in the face a few times and shouted in his ear. Guo Ran barely had the energy to reach out with his arm. Regretfully, he didn't have Men Qi or Tang Wanner's luck this time. He pulled out a sword, one that was merely a low grade enchanted item that was useless to him as he would be able to forge it himself, and its power might even be greater. He collapsed on the ground, and no matter what, he wouldn't get up. He began to snore just like that. What should we do? Just leave him here. Pull him to the side so no one steps on him. Boss only said that he had to get to the 333rd stair. This is already beyond expectations. One of the squad leaders pulled him to a corner and then continued forward. 360 dragon blood warriors had all reached the 666th stair. Quite a few of them had obtained weapons that they wanted, or even cultivation techniques and secret tomes. There were also medicinal pills and protective items, etc. They were incomparably excited. Seeing them so excited, the monastery heads couldn't help sighing. The dragon blood warriors really were easily satisfied. That was a good thing, as it raised their morale and expelled their negative emotions. But as for the previous celestials, the items they had pulled out had been quite a bit better than theirs. But many of them had shaken their heads and sighed, feeling like their luck was bad. Without even knowing it, that increased the pressure on them. The dragon blood warriors continued forward. Behind them, there were less than 10,000 disciples still fighting to go forward. The others had collapsed. Unable to see hope, they were invaded by their negative emotions. It was truly too difficult to endure. That was especially true since many of these elite disciples didn't even know their own reason for cultivating. Their parents had simply told them that they had to properly cultivate, that they had to excel, to bring honor to their ancestors, to conduct themselves properly. And so, they had begun cultivating, but many of them didn't even know why they had to excel and why they had to bring honor to their ancestors. They had simply been forced to walk forward on this path. Now, these geniuses had become weaklings. The better their family's circumstances, the greater their origins and status, the easier they collapsed. It was those who came from comparatively poorer origins who had stronger wills. This situation occurred every time the Netherworld Heaven staircase was activated, so it was no longer a novel sight. The Zhuanchen Dao sect's only responsibility was to give them a cultivation environment. They didn't have the manpower or resources to properly educate each disciple in how to properly live their lives. Furthermore, their teachings would be the same, cultivate, excel amongst your peers, bring honor to your ancestors, and conduct yourself properly. Close to half of the disciples hadn't reached the 333rd stair. As for those that had passed, 90% of them didn't reach the 666th stair. And in the end, of the 5,000 people that reached the 666th stair, a fifth of them directly collapsed after taking out their reward. One reason was perhaps because the treasure they had obtained hadn't given them any motivation to continue, and so they had lost that drive. Despite knowing each extra stair they climbed meant greater benefits, they were just too exhausted. The other more important reason was that even Guo Ran, a rank 2 celestial, had collapsed there, while they were only ordinary disciples. They had already done their best, so there was no need for them to try anymore. Therefore, following the collapse of Guo Ran, another thousand people fell. Following good examples was hard, but following bad examples was easy. The collapse of that many disciples caused even more negative emotions to surge out of the others. People collapsed left and right. Furthermore, the dragon blood warriors were getting further and further away. They felt that they were so far that they couldn't possibly catch up. They no longer had the confidence to catch up to them. As a result of these factors, a chain reaction started. In the end, the disciple who walked the furthest only managed to take 16 steps before giving up. Now, the only ones still climbing were the Dragon Blood Legion and the Celestials. 10,000 people had been turned into less than 400. The more talented they are, 
the more lacking their character is, said the Visect Master expressionlessly. Other than Chu Wuhan, all the monastery heads' expressions became a bit unnatural. They had already claimed that this was their strongest generation of disciples in all of their history. They had all been extremely confident in them, and they had said that they would definitely surpass the previous generation's records for the trials, including the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. And they weren't necessarily wrong. They truly had surpassed the previous record in two ways. First, the number of people attending was double the previous trials. That was a number worthy of pride. As for the other way they had surpassed the record. In the last trial, there had been 5,000 disciples who had reached the 666th stair. That was essentially the same as this time. However, last time, over 2,000 disciples had also reached the 700th stair. But this time, only 400 did. That disproportionate dropout rate was also a record. That made the monastery heads blush with shame. The Visect Master was clearly dissatisfied with their teachings. All they had raised was a bunch of greenhouse flowers. But at least the disciples who reached the 700th stair are all extremely powerful. That's something gratifying, said one monastery head in hopes of lifting the awkward atmosphere. Yes, they really are powerful. But does their strength have the slightest thing to do with how you raised them? Asked the Visect Master. That monastery head really was stupid. If the Visect Master had criticisms, he should have just listened and let it be. Instead, he disgraced himself even more. The Dragonblood Warriors were the 36th Super Monastery's disciples. They had nothing to do with him, but he had tried to act like he had contributed. Shu Wuhan couldn't help sighing upon seeing how those children were still persevering despite the pain. Just how much had they suffered to gain this power? They've reached the 900th stair. The Netherworld Heaven staircase once more trembled. Long Chen's group had already reached the 900th stair, and everyone's gaze is focused on them. Chapter 734 Saddest Translator Born to be that's too fast. One of the monastery heads let out a startled cry. In previous generations, it had taken a full day for any disciple to reach the 900th stair. But now, less than half a day had passed. These monastery heads had also once experienced the Netherworld Heaven Staircase, so they knew how terrifying it was. The higher you went, the greater the difficulty was. The strongest amongst them had only climbed to the 780th stair. Looking at those figures, even the Visect Master was moved. Those five figures were all terrifying. Of course, the most terrifying one was Long Chen. Long Chen's robes were already soaked in sweat, and he was panting heavily. He was the one under the most pressure. But in order to give the Dragonblood Warriors morale, he could only clench his teeth and continue forward. He refused to fall behind by even a single step. The others weren't much better off than him. They were all panting and covered in sweat. They couldn't conceal their exhaustion. The pressure made it feel like mountains were crushing them. That was no illusion, but true pressure. This cruel trial was a test of both the mind and body. You're already tired? Then I'll tire you bastards to death. Long Chen was also weary to the bone, but seeing how tired the others were, he felt incomparably comfortable inside. Just like that, he took an extra step forward. Xu Guan's he and the others' expressions changed. Previously, they had all been in a silent agreement to take a slight pause at the 900th stair. This would allow them to adjust to this pressure and take a slight break, so they could climb higher. But Long Chen had taken the initiative to advance. They had no choice but to clench their teeth and continue. They had an urge to have a fight with him right now, but that would just benefit others. Damn it. Tired is good. It's not like I'm the only one getting tired. To have four people accompany me, it's worth it. This was just Long Chen's way of comforting himself. He felt a kind of sadistic pleasure, and his mood became better with each step. Seeing them continue climbing without even taking a breath, everyone was startled. The Visect Master's expression was a bit odd. With his vision, he could instantly tell what they were thinking. The youngsters these days really were interesting, but this kind of rush wasn't a good thing. Unless they could manage to climb to the top in one go, they would be forced to stop eventually. And if they were forced to stop instead of choosing to stop, then they would be invaded by their negative emotions, and they wouldn't be able to advance a single step. Behind them, Men Qi and Tang Wan Er were pale and sweaty, but their eyes were still hard and determined. They would chase after Long Chen. They would get stronger. They didn't want to become a burden to him. Their greatest desire was to one day be able to protect him the way he had protected them. Only they knew just how tired Long Chen was. He never said how much he suffered, as saying it didn't have any use. 
he had no backer to rely on and could only rely on himself. Normally, Long Chen would act like a scoundrel without a proper thought, but only the people closest to him knew how much he had had to endure. He also needed help, and he also needed protection. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er held hands as they climbed. Although they weren't as fast as Long Chen, their steps were extremely steady. This was the optimal way of climbing. They had already reached the 853rd stair. Behind them were Gu Yang and the other Celestials. I can't. I can't go any further. I have to rest here. When they reached the 830th stair, a Celestial from the 17th Super Monastery finally couldn't hold on and sat down. Get up. How can you let yourself be the first one to collapse? Shouted a Celestial. These Celestials had actually long since felt that they had reached their limit. But their dignity refused to allow them to be the first Celestial to give up. So they had pushed themselves to continue. But now, one person was finally done. That was a fatal blow to the others. The collapse of one person greatly affected their mental states. That was especially true since they were all completely exhausted. Seeing that person now peacefully sleeping, they couldn't resist the temptation. Fuck it. I'm tired. Too. The Celestial who had just shouted at him to get up sat down. He instantly became completely relaxed and fell into a deep slumber. You guys can continue. I feel like I've also reached my limit. Another Celestial lay down. A relaxed and peaceful smile appeared on his face. That smile seemed incredibly happy. The distant monastery heads couldn't help sighing. Now there'll be trouble. Perhaps they'll all collapse here. They had a deep understanding of the netherworld heaven staircase. The feeling of exhaustion was practically a poison that could instantly infect a person's will. Physically, they're far from reaching their limit. It's just that their will isn't strong enough. How regretful. However, to only collapse at the 830th stair, this record really is not bad. In previous generations, the average for Celestials was the 800th stair. Reaching the 810th stair was a limit. The fact they had endured until the 830th stair was because they had profited from Gu Yang and the others. Their pride had refused to allow them to lose to their juniors who had only just awakened as Celestials. That was the only reason they had endured this long. But a person had their limits and they had already surpassed theirs. Which was a good thing. Gu Yang and the others ignored them. They continued pushing forward. Their only thought was to follow Long Chen. Whether it was Gu Yang or the Dragonblood Warriors, they didn't treat the Netherworld Heaven Staircase as a trial. They treated it as a battle they had to win. Because this trial would decide whether or not they could follow in Long Chen's footsteps. Whether or not they could one day stand at the peak of the martial path. If they wanted to fight alongside Long Chen, then they couldn't allow themselves to be thrown too far behind. Otherwise, there would come a day when they would never be able to see his back again. It could be said that Long Chen was their conviction. It was Long Chen who had brought them to heights that they had never imagined. Letting them see a greater world. Long Chen had given them everything. But they had to work hard to keep up with him. Because if they were unable to follow him one day, that would be worse than death to them. They refused to allow such a thing to happen. The collapse of those people didn't affect Gu Yang and the others because their only goal was Long Chen. Only Long Chen would be able to influence them. Although each step they took was difficult and their bodies trembled. They were filled with resolve. They had no intention of giving up. Heavens. Even they've reached the 800th stair? How is that possible? When the first Dragonblood warrior reached the 800th stair, everyone was shaken. In all of history, only Celestials had reached that height. That wasn't because Celestials had greater wills, but that the Heavenly Deus would reduce the pressure they were under. But these Dragonblood warriors didn't have that advantage. The most shocking thing was that even after reaching that high, each of the Dragonblood warriors' expressions were still so determined. Despite their bodies being unsteady, they didn't make a sound. Despite being soaked in sweat, they simply clenched their teeth. They all continued onwards. What terrifying determination. Sighed a monastery head. Long Chen isn't the only heaven-defying monster. Even the people by his side are all monsters. The 830th stair. One of the squad leaders had reached the 830th stair. Looking at the snoring celestials on that step. His body trembled. He's already reached his limit. Despite that. All of the monastery heads felt admiration. PFFT. What? Blood suddenly splashed on the netherworld heaven staircase. That squad leader had taken out a dagger and stabbed himself in the shoulder. The intense pain caused him to frown slightly, but it also caused his exhaustion to lessen as well. He became slightly more energized, allowing him to continue forward. How ruthless. Even the monastery head's hearts pounded. That squad leader had stabbed the dagger in the space between his bones. 
That was the most painful spot where the nerves were concentrated. Only people specialized in torture would be able to so precisely aim for that spot. It was the best way to torment your opponents. That was enough pain to make them beg for death. But he had merely frowned before continuing. These old fellows were incomparably shocked. Behind him, the other dragonblood warriors had also reached their limits. They followed his lead, taking out daggers and stabbing themselves in the most painful spots possible without hesitation. That scene was chilling to the bone. I finally understand why they're so strong. It's no coincidence. It was inevitable. Praised one monastery head. The Dragonblood Warriors display showed them just how terrifying willpower could be. It wasn't just talent that decided a person's future. At the top of the Dragonblood Legion was Long Chen, and at the bottom were the Dragonblood Warriors. Each one of them was unyielding and courageous, with a will of steel. Suddenly, an angry roar rang out from ahead. Everyone hastily looked up. Previously, their attention had been focused on the Dragonblood Warriors. So when they now looked at where Long Chen and the others were, they all jumped in shock. The final three stairs. They had currently reached the 996th stair. The five of them were trembling. And that furious roar had come from Xiao Wuji. They had obviously reached their limits. The monastery heads could no longer remain sitting. They stood, watching with rapt attention. These final three steps were the most crucial. Chapter 735 Terrifying Formation Translator Born to be at this point, the five of them could no longer advance. They all stopped as they had no choice but to adjust themselves first. Here, their bodies, minds, souls, hearts, and wills were all enduring a harsh trial. This was the most ruthless moment. After their fierce climb here, they had reached a limit. They had to take a breather, but at the same time, they had to endure the powerful pressure here and resist the encroachment of their negative emotions. Long Chen took three deep breaths before directly stepping towards the 997th stair. Shu Guanxi and the others' expressions became ugly. This bastard, they were infuriated. It was like Long Chen was intentionally opposing them. He refused to give them a moment's rest. If they allowed Long Chen to climb to the top before them, wouldn't it signify that he was the strongest of them all? Although they were furious, they also followed. However, the powerful pressure that descended upon them at the 997th stair caused their expressions to change. Cry of the Heavenly Deos, Shu Guanxi, Xiao Wuji, Yu Kianshan, and Song Wuyan activated their Heavenly Deo manifestations at the same time. The pressure immediately lightened for them. As for Long Chen, he vomited a mouthful of blood, his expression exceedingly ugly and furious. I refuse to believe I can't get up. Long Chen was ruthless, and he forced his way up. Just like that, he forced his way onto the 997th stair. But by the time he reached there, Shu Guanxi and the others had already begun charging toward the 998th stair. They were relying on their cries of the heavenly deos for a spurt of energy, hoping to directly reach the end like this. But when they reached the 998th stair, they were forced back by a terrifying force. Shu Guanxi and the others were completely startled. They hadn't expected the 998th stair's difficulty to be several times that of the 997th stair. They didn't manage to get up. Instead, the rebound force caused them to almost cough up blood. Water waves break the heavens. Shu Guanxi suddenly was surrounded by water runes. They formed a channel in front of him that he directly charged through. Boom. The entire netherworld heaven staircase shook. Shu Guanxi was the first to step onto the 998th stair. However. People saw that the heavenly Dao runes around him were constantly revolving and changing shape, as if they were currently being compressed by some invisible force. Good. Shu Guanxi has done well. He's the first to reach the 998th stair and has taken the lead, laughed Shu Yunkong. Suddenly, sword light pierced forward. An ear-piercing sound rang out as Yu Kianshan took action. His aura completely erupted like a sword coming out of its sheath. He also stepped onto the 998th stair. At the same time, Zhang Wuyan and Xiao Wuji took action as well. Xiao Wuji was covered in a layer of dirt yellow light. It was like a set of armor, and with a single punch, it was like space had exploded. He relied on that to get up. As for Zhang Wuyan, a blood mark appeared on her forehead, forming a rune. However, only the more erudite people knew that it was no rune, but an immortal character, Zhang. This was Zhang Wuyan's ancestral mark. There were many kinds of ancestral marks and any Xi'anshan expert's descendants would inherit some bloodline power. However, Zhang Wuyan's ancestor had been a terrifying king. The power of her ancestral mark was on a completely different level than Gu Yang's. The instant the ancestral mark appeared, 
The void trembled. It was like some mysterious energy was coming from her forehead, one that suppressed the spatial fluctuations. She also reached the 998th stair. Now, the only one left was Long Chen. He was panting for breath on the 997th stair. This scene caused people's expressions to become a bit odd. HMPH. A bumpkin really is a bumpkin. Now you should understand the difference. Sneered Shu Guanzi from above. The others looked at Long Chen. They didn't say anything, but the contempt in their eyes was clear. Wait, something's wrong. When Long Chen fought Shu Guanzi, that huge rainbow ring was so powerful. Why isn't he using it? Wondered some people. This was a perplexing question. What was Long Chen thinking? He had clearly reached his limit, but he was still holding back his trump card. HMPH. Even you people can be called heavenly geniuses? This netherworld heaven staircase is clearly a test for the will, physical body, and soul. But what you are doing is basically cheating, and yet you can still sneer at others disdainfully? I really have to admire you. How did you manage to cultivate your face to such a thickness? Today, I'll display what it means to be a true man and what attitude a true cultivator should possess. Without any technique, I will rely just on myself to reach the 999th stair. I'll let you idiots open your eyes to the world, sneered Long Chen. His voice contained a trace of anger. In truth, he was extremely angry. What he had just said were simply words of rage. In truth, when they had summoned their cries of the heavenly deos, Long Chen wouldn't be so stupid as to still hold back. He had also begun to summon his divine ring, but he had only just started and had yet to truly bring it out when the pressure on him suddenly increased by dozens of times. He had almost been crushed to death before he hastily stopped. Even so, he had still vomited blood. Only now did Long Chen realize his divine ring was different from their heavenly Dao manifestations. His divine ring was something that helped him absorb energy from the surroundings. As a result, the surrounding energy had been drawn toward him. Energy that contained a powerful pressure had almost crushed him flat. Long Chen now knew that he would probably be extremely miserable today. Now that Xu Guanzi sneered at him. He had found a chance to counterattack, cursing them in such a melodramatic way without giving them any way to retort. You. Fine. Then let me see how you manage with no outside force. Raged Shu Guanzi. It had to be known that they had had to use their full strength with the cry of the heavenly deos in order to reach the 998th stair. They refused to believe he could climb his way without any outside force. That would just be an idiot's dream. He was definitely just posturing. They couldn't be bothered to say anything more to Long Chen, and they began to approach the 999th stair. As they got closer, their expressions changed. They sensed endless pressure from the 999th stair, and that pressure contained a dense aura of death. They sensed a mortal danger from that pressure. In other words, climbing to the 999th stair might kill them. They had never dreamed that the 999th stair would actually pose a danger to their lives. If they messed up, they would lose their lives here. It's definitely fake. How could they allow us to die here? I refuse to believe it. Xiao Wuji snorted and charged toward the 999th stair. When he stepped onto the 999th stair, a translucent flying sword shot toward Xiao Wuji. He hastily blocked, but that flying sword tore through his defense and left a footlong wound on his chest. They were horrified. When it came to physical defense, Xiao Wuji was the strongest. The runes revolving around him were even stronger than his spiritual key armor, but he had been injured after just one attack. Then they, who did not specialize in defense, would be slashed in two, right? HMPH, let me try it. Shu Guan's he extended a hand. A water arrow shot toward the 999th stair, but he wrapped himself with endless runes first. Another flying sword shot out, smashing apart the water arrow and piercing through Shu Guan's he's water runes. Shu Guan's he was appalled. He hadn't expected that his water runes would be pierced as easily as water in front of that flying sword. It hadn't been able to resist at all. Skywater shield. He hastily formed three water shields in front of him. But that sword continued to pierce through them. Just as the sword was about to pierce his heart, it lost its energy and disappeared. Shu Guanzi's face was pale. The four of us should go from four different directions to see if we can scatter its power. Suggested Song Wuian. The others nodded and spread out. But when they attempted it again, the four of them all received counterattacks, and the power hadn't weakened at all. We have to take a risk. Don't hold back. Charge with your full strength, or it will be impossible, said Song Wuian. The others hesitated but nodded. The 999th stair was too difficult, and there was no room for technique. They could only go all out. 
From their previous tests, they had found this barrier to be incomparably powerful. Without going all out, they wouldn't be able to pass it. Attack. The four of them began to shine with runic light, activating their strongest defense. They charged to the 999th stair. Boom. The staircase trembled, and suddenly, thousands of flying swords shot out mercilessly at them. Blood splashed. Countless swords pierced through their bodies, and they were sent flying back. All the Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts' expressions changed. How could this be? Chapter 736 Surpassing Themselves Translator Born to be the four of them were miserably blown back to the 998th stair. They were wildly vomiting blood and filled with horror. They hastily circulated their heavenly Dao runes to heal. Just now, they had been the slightest bit away from being completely crushed. In that instant, they had smelled the scent of death. It was like the Grim Reaper's sickle had brushed right up against their throats. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts were all shocked. They had never expected this situation. This was the Eastern Wasteland's Zhuanshan branch sect's strongest batch of geniuses in all of history. But they were all stopped in front of the 999th stair. Although the experts were still far away, they had sensed just how terrifying that killing mechanism was. Even they felt a chill. Is it trying to force them into despair? Why does the trial refuse to allow them to pass even though they've reached that point? Complained one monastery head. What is going on? Has something happened with the 999th stair? In previous generations, weren't there disciples who managed to reach the 999th stair? Why can't I remember anything from then? Questioned one of the older experts. That's because the memories regarding the final stair have all been erased. All of you are the same. Once this trial is over, the memories about the final part will disappear, said the Visect Master. Their hearts shook. It was no wonder they clearly remembered that there had been disciples to reach the 999th stair, but when they tried to recall that scene, they weren't able to recall it in the slightest. Whether it was the Zhuanshan Sea, the Nine Netherworld Path, or the Netherworld Heaven Staircase, they were all activated by the head sect even they didn't have the qualifications to interfere. If they tried, the loss here would immediately kill them. Even the Visect Master wasn't an exception, but... This abnormal difficulty isn't even a trial, it's just murder, cried a monastery head. A single flying sword had the power to kill a celestial. Just now, tens of thousands of them had shot out at the same time, almost killing the four of them. It was lucky they had brought out their strongest defense beforehand, or they would have already died. This is a trial, it shouldn't kill our elite disciples. There should be some unknown method to pass, the Visect Master frowned. Although that was what he said, even he wasn't sure. Furthermore, the Netherworld Heaven Staircase had its own laws. There was no way for them to transmit their voices to the disciples on it. Boom. The Netherworld Heaven Staircase shook everyone. Everyone jumped, thinking the four heavenly geniuses had attempted to attack the 999th stair again. However, they found out that the four of them hadn't moved. They were still healing. This rumbling was from a certain figure stepping onto the 998th stair. It's Long Chen. Heavens. He really is not using any technique. He's crazy. There were no fluctuations coming from Long Chen's body. He was clearly using just the power of his physical body. It had to be known that the four heavenly geniuses had had to use their full strength to just barely reach the 998th stair. Is he stupid? Is this worth it? He'll be directly crushed to death by the pressure. What is his reason? Does he really need to care so much about his face? None of them knew that it wasn't the case of him caring so much about his face, but that he really had no other option. The Divine Ring would only bring him down. As for the three-star battle armor, it was connected to the Divine Ring. The principle was the same, and once he activated it, although his power would multiply, the pressure would also be absorbed. It wasn't worth it. His previous words were just to give himself an excuse, to make others think he was posing. It was to conceal the bitter truth. He was already doing his absolute best. One foot was just barely on the edge of the 998th stair, but the surrounding pressure crashed down upon him. He was like a small boat trying to stay afloat on wild waves. He might capsize at any moment. Menki and Tang Wan'er had already stopped at the 900th stair. They had reached their limit. Although their wills were strong enough, their physical bodies were unable to continue. They watched Long Chen attentively. Gu Yang and the others were right behind them. They had also reached the 900th stair. Boss really is boss. He's too strong. Gu Yang couldn't help sighing. Even against rank 2 celestials, he didn't rely on any outer force and still reached the same level. 
the Dragonblood Warriors had reached the 880th stair. Whether it was in terms of will or physical body, they had reached an absolute limit. There was no way for them to advance any further. Brothers, do you see? That's our boss. He's using his own power to tell us a person's potential is limitless. As long as you are determined enough, you can surpass yourself. In truth, your strength surpasses your imagination. So brothers, what are you still waiting for? Currently, this is our limit. But do you see it? Boss is currently fighting his own limits. But us, are we not capable of surpassing our limits as well? If we can't surpass ourselves, how are we supposed to follow boss? Remember our oath? We will make the name of our Dragonblood Legion reverberate throughout the world. Do you still remember? Roared one of the squad leaders. Seeing Long Chen going all out without any intention of giving up, his own passion was ignited. Long Chen was fighting with all his might, but he still heard what they were saying. Despite how thick his face was, his cheeks became burning hot. Your boss has no way around this, which is why he has to do this. Do you really think I would be that stupid? But hearing that speech made the pressure on Long Chen increase even more. Even if he had to die, he had to charge up there. Otherwise, how would he have the guts to face his brothers? Fuck it. Long Chen clenched his teeth, and he suddenly charged forward. His shoulders dislocated and the immense pressure almost sent him flying. He hastily pulled one foot back to the lower stair, maintaining an equilibrium. Seeing that he didn't succeed, Shu Guanxi and the others sneered. Obviously, they thought that he was just posturing, but his big words had made him seem like an idiot now. Seeing how miserable Long Chen appeared, they felt much more comfortable inside. He appeared even more miserable than they did. Men Qi and the others' hearts clenched. Although they hadn't reached that height, it was obvious that the pressure was unimaginable just from the fact that the four heavenly geniuses had had to summon the cries of the heavenly deos to just barely get to that level. Fuck, what is this ridiculous pressure? Is it trying to break my confidence? Long Chen snorted inside. Just now, he had truly had an urge to give up. That was a sign his negative emotions were getting out of control. Idiot. Who do you think I am? I still have countless problems to deal with. And this little bit can't count as anything. If this minor setback could stop me, how would I walk to the peak of the martial path? How would I find out about my origins? How would I find my parents? How would I get revenge against whoever stole my spirit bone? blood, and root. The more he thought about it, the more furious Long Chen became. That was especially true when he recalled what he had seen in Future Lake. He had watched those hands take his spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. Those negative emotions were all expelled by him. The only thing remaining was a gushing killing intent. Break. Long Chen's furious roar was like thunder. The space in front of him trembled, and he finally reached the 998th stair. He did it. Do you see, brothers? Boss has already shown us what we have to do. Continue charging. Surpass your limits and surpass yourselves. Cried the squad leader Novaloon.com Surpass our limits. Surpass ourselves. The Dragonblood Warrior's cries rang out louder and louder. It reached a level that seemed like even the sky was shaking. It was like they had been completely revived. Despite already having reached their limits, they continued pushing forward. The Zuanshan Deo sect's higher-ups were all stunned. Just what kind of people were they? Was a person's potential truly unlimited? When the Dragonblood Warriors had reached the 830th stair, they had thought they would definitely not be able to reach the 840th stair. When they had reached the 840th stair, they would have bet their heads that they had reached their limits and wouldn't be able to reach the 850th stair. Even so, now they had already reached the 880th stair. The majority of them were covered in blood, with daggers stabbed throughout their bodies in the most painful places. They used pain to force back their negative emotions. However, despite having truly reached the limit, they once more continued forward with Long Chen's encouragement. If they don't fall, they will become this world's most terrifying warriors, said the Visect Master. With his vision, he could clearly see that they had truly reached their limits, whether it was mentally or physically, but now they were surpassing those limits. In truth, this was just a saying as it was fundamentally impossible. The limit people spoke of was usually only 80% of their true power. Surpassing your limits was excavating that remaining 20%. But the Dragonblood Warriors had already excavated all that potential. The only thing allowing them to continue was willpower. If they had been in the outside world, they would have long since collapsed. But on the Netherworld Heaven Staircase, as long as a person's will was strong enough, they could constantly break through their own limits. This was the strongest aspect of the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. 
one that made it worthy of being the final trial. What do you want to fight? As soon as Long Chen got up, Shu Guan's he glared at him. Chapter 737 The only way to pass translator. Born to be everyone watching was on edge as they knew that Shu Guan's he's enmity with Long Chen was deep. Back in the Zhuanchen Sea, he had lost to him. Now Long Chen had just reached the 998th stair. If Shu Guan's he wanted to attack, Long Chen would most likely suffer. But after this long, everyone had realized Long Chen's temperament. He was someone who dared to do anything. If Shu Guan's he really did attack, Long Chen would definitely explode and counterattack with his full strength. And this time would not be the same as last time. It would definitely be a battle to the death. The Zhuanchen Dao sect's higher-ups were all worried except for Zhao Shianai. The person who worried the most was naturally Xu Yankong. Of course he hoped for Xu Guanzi to suppress Long Chen. But if Xu Guanzi really attacked now, it would no longer be an ordinary competition. Furthermore, it was impossible for the ones outside to interfere with what was happening on the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. Let alone interfering, they couldn't even say anything to them. In truth, Long Chen was also a bit uneasy. This Netherworld Heaven Staircase put him at too great of a disadvantage. If Xu Guanzi attacked now, he wouldn't be able to defeat Chiring him. But he coldly smiled at Xu Guanzi. I've already told you, if you want to die, come at me any time. You don't need to worry so much about the timing or location. Xu Guanzi was silent for a moment as he sized up Long Chen. You must be too afraid. All I did was stand up and stretch. This netherworld heaven staircase must restrict your magical art. Are you unable to summon your ring here? Xu Guanzi stared closely at Long Chen's eyes. He had clearly seen through some clues and wanted to find the proof. Perhaps, you can try it. Long Chen smiled. Hearing Xu Guanzi's words, the others were startled. Was Long Chen really unable to use his magical art on the Netherworld Heaven Staircase? If that was true, then Long Chen was the weakest of them all here. They could send him flying with a wave of a hand, but it was impossible to tell anything from Long Chen's expression. Despite suspecting him, Xu Guanzi didn't dare to actually attack him. If he was right, then it would be acceptable. But if he was wrong, and Long Chen was just stubborn and refused to summon his divine ring, he would be screwed. First ignoring the question of whether or not he could even defaturing Long Chen. Just being entangled with him would put himself at a disadvantage when fighting to get the 999th stair. Furthermore, with Long Chen's temperament, it truly might be a bit dangerous. TCH. How godless. Long Chen smiled. And just like that, he began walking toward the suspecting Xu Guanzi, startling everyone. Xu Guanzi immediately tensed. You really don't want to try me? Don't blame me for not giving you an opportunity. Long Chen stopped when he was around 30 meters from Xu Guanzi. This distance was the absolute limit. If he took another step, the two would definitely begin to fight, unless one of them retreated. Xu Guanzi's eyes were cold. He was 80% sure he was right, and Long Chen was just bluffing. But he also didn't dare to take the risk. That was because Long Chen was too mysterious. All kinds of strange things might happen around him. If his deduction was wrong and Long Chen was just baiting him, he would have to endure a tempest of attacks from him. He wasn't afraid of a battle, but he didn't want to waste his energy here. That would just be helping out the other three. You're too useless. Long Chen shook his head and walked away. You. Xu Guanzi was just about to say something when he suddenly found out that Long Chen was walking straight toward the 999th stair without even resting. Everyone was shocked. Even the monastery heads. What was he doing? Was this scoundrel trying to constantly test out their startled expressions? Xu Wuhan was extremely nervous. Long Chen never did things normally. During these trials, he had used up all the shocked expressions these people would get in their lifetimes. He was clearly already on the verge of collapse, but he still wanted to charge directly to the 999th stair. Was he crazy? Xu Guanzi and the others were first startled, but then they smiled coldly. Currently, Long Chen had no divine ring, and furthermore, there were no spiritual yuan fluctuations coming from his body. Going to the 999th stair was purely suicidal. Is he really trying to commit suicide? Cried a monastery head. The vice sect master's eyes seemed to glow. He thought of something, but then that thought slipped away. It was like something was trying to surface in his mind, but he wasn't able to grab it. As Long Chen advanced, a flying sword shot out, piercing his leg. He stumbled, but he didn't stop. He continued climbing. Furthermore, his expression was still completely calm. It was impossible to tell what he was thinking. 
but they all thought he was trying to get himself killed. The instant his foot stepped onto the 999th stair, countless flying swords suddenly shot out like a tide. But Long Chen still didn't attempt to block or dodge them. He allowed them to pierce through his body. Each of them left behind a bloody hole. It was shocking how sharp those flying swords were. After all, everyone was aware of just how powerful Long Chen's physical body was. It would take incredible power to injure him. But these flying swords pierced through him so easily. That wasn't because of their shooting power, but because of how incisive they were. The four heavenly geniuses' expressions changed. Previously, they hadn't had a chance to clearly see those flying swords. Now they saw just how terrifying they were as they brought a rain of Long Chen's blood. Boom. When Long Chen's second foot touched the 999th stair, the entire netherworld heaven staircase shook intensely. Endless pressure descended. Millions of flying swords gathered together, forming one huge sword. Once that sword formed, a huge vortex appeared around it as pressure began to condense. What? Even before this sword shot out, the aura it released was apocalyptic. There was no way a human could block it. So that's what it was. The Visect Master finally came to a sudden comprehension upon seeing that huge sword. Boom. The huge sword pierced forward, instantly enveloping Long Chen. Long Chen, Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were pale. Their hands covered their mouths, as they were filled with absolute shock. What? When the light of the swords faded, people finally saw Long Chen again. He was on the 999th stair in the same state as before the final sword had struck him. Long Chen smiled. As expected, his gamble had been right. As the light faded, the pressure around him weakened. Furthermore, his injuries began to heal. He felt endless life energy nourishing him. This is good stuff. He rapidly circulated the primal chaos space, absorbing this life energy. Previously, he had almost died from trying to refine the green dragon essence blood. To recover, he had used up all the life energy in the primal chaos space. Endless life energy surged into the primal chaos space. Those withered trees and medicinal ingredients rapidly regained their vitality. Furthermore, Long Chen's injuries were rapidly healing. Long Chen was definitely taking more than his share. While he rapidly absorbed this energy, everyone just stood there, stunned. They were unable to understand how he had done this. That final attack had released a blinding light that had made it so none of them had seen how he had survived. It had even isolated him from spiritual probing. They had no idea what technique he had used to block that final attack. I remember, the Visect Master's words brought the monastery heads out of their shock and back to reality. What did you remember? They hastily asked. I remember how that previous disciple managed to charge onto the 999th stair. A complicated expression appeared on the Visect Master's face. My memories are sealed, but in this special situation, they can be partially released. Just now, I remembered. It is impossible to charge onto the 999th stair. To put it more specifically, it is impossible to charge onto it through brute force. No matter how strong you are, you won't be able to resist the formation. Even I would be exterminated. What? All of them turned pale. If that was true, how had Long Chen passed? The Visect Master sighed. I really can't tell if Long Chen is suicidal or not. He actually managed to find out the only way to reach the 999th stair. The only way. The 999th stair doesn't test a person's physical strength, spiritual strength, or will. Instead, it tests a person's courage. It tests whether or not a person dares to risk their life to reach the peak of the martial path. You mean, the final step is just to frighten others. You can put it that way. The netherworld heaven staircase won't take the lives of disciples. This is something I've already told them. But the final formation's killing intent will influence a cultivator's instincts. The stronger a person is, the more they will trust those instincts. So, the final test is just to see who dares to fight with their life on the line. PFFT. Suddenly, a translucent flying sword shot down from the sky, turning one monastery head into a bloody mist. Chapter 738 The younger generation will surpass the previous generation's translator. Born to be this sudden attack had come without the slightest warning. Even the Visect Master hadn't had the slightest opportunity to save him. A metallic tag clattered to the ground. There was a line of words on there, but the writing was incomplete. Idiot. What did I just say? You can't record anything about the trial, or you'll be exterminated by the laws. Cursed the Visect Master. Obviously, this monastery head had tried to secretly record information about the final trial. But after just a few words, he was destroyed. The other monastery heads were pale with terror. 
That flying sword had come so suddenly that it was practically unblockable. Quite a few of them had been tempted to secretly record this information as well before their memories about this portion of the trial were wiped away. If they were aware of the final test beforehand, it would be extremely beneficial to the disciples. Two monastery heads were even covered in cold sweat. They were both holding a steel tablet in their hands and had been about to do the same as the first one. You really are idiots. What do you think this trial is? Have you become addicted to cheating? You're truly beyond cure said the Visect Master gloomily. These people were too stupid. They had actually treated his words of advice as nonsense. This trial was the greatest foundational trial within the Zhuanshan Dao sect. How could it be so easy to tamper with it? Boom. Suddenly, a loud explosive sound cut off the Visect Master's chiding. Following the source, they saw Shu Guanxi's group of four had once more attempted to charge onto the 999th stair. But as a result, they had only just taken one step onto it when endless swords once more forced them back. This time, they appeared even more miserable than before. Impossible, roared Shu Guanxi. Why could Long Chen get up there? But they couldn't. Unfortunately for them, the ones watching them with the Visect Master couldn't tell them anything. They also realized why it had been so many generations since someone had managed to reach the 999th stair. Only someone as crazy as Long Chen and used to risking their life could get up there. In truth, everyone, including the Visect Master, had misjudged Long Chen. The reason he had managed to charge up to the 999th stair wasn't because he was so used to risking his life. Instead, it was the nine-star hegemon body art's sharp perception and intuition that told him that the 999th stair's formation might appear to be a killing formation, but its killing intent was fake. It was able to trick other people's spiritual perception but it was unable to trick the nine-star hegemon body art. Furthermore, through some clues, he understood what the formation's purpose was. That was why he had charged up. This kind of formation would suppress you the more you resisted. Normal people definitely wouldn't dare to bet their lives. If Long Chen didn't have confidence in the nine-star hegemon body art, he also wouldn't have dared. Even though he had been sure, he had still been apprehensive. This formation's deceptive ability was truly shocking. Swords once more shot out with the four heavenly geniuses failing once more. The four of them were miserable to the peak and completely covered in blood. They had tried four times, but no matter what they tried, they were unable to break through the formation. Their confidence was greatly shaken. Furthermore, in their perception, that terrifying sword Long Chen had been attacked with was the true attack, but they were forced back by the most preliminary attacks. That made them especially dejected. The most hateful thing was that they could see Long Chen on the 999th stair wrapped in endless energy. His aura was rapidly rising, and his injuries were also recovering quickly. That made them even more anxious. The final reward was on the 999th stair. They were afraid Long Chen would directly take it after recovering. It was just that right now, they didn't even know where the final reward was. Boom. Once more, they charged. They were injured, and they were blown back miserably. Their confidence had received an unprecedented blow. That was especially true of Xiao Wuji and Xu Guanxi. Seeing Long Chen on the 999th stair, flames almost burst from their eyes. They were unable to accept that Long Chen was stronger than them. After they were once more blown back, Yu Qianchen stood up with a determined light in his eyes. This time, he didn't release his aura. Just like Long Chen, he directly charged up. Sharp swords mercilessly pierced through his body. But Yu Qianchen ignored them decisively. Haha, <laughs> this child Yu Qianchen has finally made his resolve. The Wang family had smiled. Only like this could he reach the 999th stair. At this time, the three others also thought of a certain possibility. But they didn't immediately move. They just watched. As expected, when Yu Qianchen completely stepped onto the 999th stair, that huge sword once more appeared, bringing with it endless pressure as it slashed down on Yu Qianchen. Everyone's eyes were wide open. Yu Qianchen had no defenses up. Suddenly, the light became blinding, completely blocking their sight. After a loud explosive sound, the light disappeared and Yu Qianchen appeared not far from Long Chen. I understand. The three of them celebrated. Yu Qianchen had tested out a crazy theory, allowing them to understand the rules of the 999th stair. They all charged forward. This time, they didn't raise any defenses. In fact, they had to hold back their instincts, or they would die. By controlling their instincts, they managed to do the same thing as Yu Qianchen and step onto the 999th stair. As soon as they did, a ball of energy wrapped around them, 
and their heavily injured bodies rapidly recovered. Suddenly, rumbling filled the air, and the netherworld heaven staircase trembled. Tang Wanner and the others who were struggling on the 958th stair suddenly felt the majority of the pressure disappear. Everyone was startled, but they quickly charged up as fast as they could. Although they didn't know what was happening, they knew they had to take advantage of this opportunity to climb to the highest place possible. The Dragonblood warriors behind them also felt that the mountain-like pressure had lightened a great deal. They immediately began to charge up. What's going on? The monastery heads were dumbfounded. Had the Netherworld Heaven Staircase lost its effect? How was this possible? The rules of the Netherworld Heaven Staircase say that only four people are allowed on the 999th stair at the same time. Now that there are five people, it has caused a strange change. If my guess is right, this is perhaps an encouragement to the others. After all, it's fundamentally impossible for those ordinary disciples to reach the 999th stair. If their will is strong enough that they can still endure even after an expert reaches the 999th stair, then that means their will is truly shocking. Perhaps this is the encouragement of the heavenly deos. Even the heavens have no choice but to show special consideration to them. This is an opportunity bestowed to them by the heavens. But this kind of opportunity is something only people like them can grasp. The Visect Master knew a few more rules about the Netherworld Heaven staircase than the others. The other experts looked from the ordinary disciples who had begun dropping out even before the hundredth stair, to the celestials fallen on the 830th stair. Then they looked at the Dragonblood warriors. As expected, the heavens only gave opportunities to the strong. The weak didn't even have the power to take advantage of opportunities. They've reached the 998th stair. They were all shocked. Menki and the others had surged all the way up to the 998th stair. But in truth, they were unaware that 90% of the pressure had disappeared, which was the only reason they had managed to charge up there. The other Dragonblood warriors also reached that height. They were completely exhausted, but that couldn't conceal their excitement. Brothers, it's the last step. Our Dragonblood Legion followed our boss out of seas of blood, and today we've fought another fierce battle. Gu Yang stepped onto the 999th stair. The secret of the 999th stair was no longer a secret. Wasn't it just some pain? That was nothing to the Dragonblood Warriors. As for braving the sensation of death, each of them had crawled out from a pile of corpses. If they really were afraid of death, they wouldn't have charged their way into the first monastery to fight with Long Chen when they had clearly known it was just sending themselves to their deaths. Sharp blades pierced through their bodies, and blood dyed the stairs. But none of them made a sound. They didn't even frown. Instead, they were filled with pride. They had finally followed in Long Chen's footsteps. They were on the same stair as him. That was their glory. The sight of all of them standing on the 999th stair was deeply imprinted in the experts' heads. Over 360 people were now enveloped in light that was healing their bodies. Furthermore, they all entered a special state. And to them, it was like time was standing still. This is the blessing of the Netherworld Heaven Staircase. It contains the principles of innumerable deos. Although they will only comprehend a trace, it will bring them endless benefits. This is the true reward. The fact that they can obtain it means that these people really are geniuses amongst geniuses. Praised the Visect Master. Perhaps the only truth of the heavenly deos is that there is no absolute right and wrong. Said Shu Wuhan as she looked at a rank 2 celestial lying on the 666th stair. Three days later, the netherworld heaven staircase trembled and everyone was suddenly awakened from their special state. They saw that a large platform had appeared at the top. Chapter 739 Heaven Defying Karmic Luck Translator Born to be everyone awoke, both the group of disciples on the 999th stair and the ones on the stairs below. When the ones below crawled up and saw that the 999th stair was full of people, they were incomparably shocked. Ha ha ha, you guys really didn't let me down. It was worth me doing my best to encourage you, shouted Guo Ran unashamedly when he saw all the Dragonblood warriors had reached the 999th stair. The other disciples on the 666th stair glanced at him. They couldn't help but feel admiration. The thickness of his face was practically unrevealed beneath the heavens. The staircase trembled as a huge platform rose from the 999th stair. It was dozens of square miles, and the ancient runes carved into it released a majestic pressure. Just as everyone was wondering what to do, they were suddenly teleported off from the staircase. What? Why are we teleported off? What about our rewards? asked Gu Yang. 
Everyone except Long Chen and the four heavenly geniuses had appeared on the same stage as the monastery heads and the vice sect leader. They could only watch the netherworld heaven staircase from a distance. You should be content. If it weren't for Long Chen and the four heavenly geniuses, do you really think you could have gotten to the 999th stair? The benefits you've gained from the 999th stair far surpass your imagination. So be happy, sighed one of the monastery heads. It really was a case of humans never knowing when enough was enough. They actually wanted to gain more treasures? These monastery heads didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Balls of light appeared beside Long Chen and the four heavenly geniuses. There were only five treasures for the five of them. Shu Guan's he took out a scale armor, and each scale was the size of a nail. There were natural lines on it that sparkled with divine light. Damn it. All the good stuff is taken up by pigs. A dog's luck really is good. Long Chen couldn't help cursing. That armor looked incredibly powerful. It seemed like a high-grade enchanted item. Shu Guan's he was delighted. Suddenly, he bit his finger and dripped a drop of blood onto the armor. The armor's runes lit up for a moment before dimming again. Long Chen knew that this level of enchanted item needed blood to recognize a master. This left a brand on the item, and only then could you release its power. This idiot had clearly struck gold. The next person to reach in was Xiao Wuji. He took out a long whip eight feet long. It was unknown what material it was made of, but a red light danced along it that made it seem alive. With just a glance, it was obvious it was no ordinary item. It was also a high-grade enchanted item. Xiao Wuji tested the whip, and a simple flick caused space to tremble. That power was truly shocking, but Xiao Wuji had clearly never used this kind of weapon before. After swinging it a few times, he ended up striking his own toe. The skin broke and Xiao Wuji clenched his teeth in pain. People were shocked by how powerful the whip was and how easily it broke his defense. But it was funny that a grand celestial would end up injuring himself with his own weapon. Xiao Wuji's expression was ugly. This was a good weapon but unsuitable to him. It was also a red color, clearly for a woman. Zhang Wuyan's expression was also a bit ugly as she took out an incomparably huge hatchet. Although she had been prepared, its weight caused it to clang onto the stair. Sparks flew. The hatchet was too big. It was also a high-grade enchanted item, but it was completely useless to Zhang Wuyan. She could only go to see if she could trade it for something better in the Zhuanshan Dao sect afterward. It was the same as Xiao Wuji. Both their weapons might be high grade, but only a few people used them. The odds of them managing to trade for weapons on the same grade that they could use were low, so they were unhappy. As for Yu Kai Anshin, everyone was startled to see him pull out a stalk of grass. The grass was two feet long and half an inch thick. It looked just like a dagger. Its edges were sawtoothed, and strange marks were present on it. Heavenly sword grass. Yu Kai Anshin suddenly burst into laughter. He seemed like a completely different person from his previous icy, arrogant self. Long Chen immediately recognized it. This heavenly sword grass was a strange item. It innately possessed the will of the sword Dao and could help people comprehend it. It was a priceless treasure to a sword cultivator like Yu Kai Anshin. Even the distant Yu Zifeng looked at it enviously. This grass possessed a fatal attraction to any sword cultivator. If you could comprehend the energy inside it, it was said that you could gain a chance to become a god. Although gods were just legends that no one had ever seen, it still didn't change the fact that the heavenly sword grass was a treasure that sword cultivators would long for even in their dreams. Seeing three of them obtain high-grade enchanted items and Yu Kai Anshin obtain a treasure perfectly suited for him, Long Chen was much more at ease. It seemed all the rewards here were top-grade treasures. He reached his hand into the last ball of light, despite knowing that he was picking from the highest-grade rewards of the netherworld heaven staircase. He was still a bit nervous. He didn't immediately pull it out. It definitely wasn't boots. It also definitely wasn't a belt. It felt soft and flexible. He felt bumps. It should be from complicated runic marks. Long Chen was delighted, thinking he had finally obtained a treasure. When he pulled it out and revealed the treasure, everyone became deathly silent. It was red, woven from the finest silk. Two exquisite birds flapping their wings were embroidered onto it. A. Blouse. Everyone was dumbfounded. That was clearly a woman's garment, not some treasure. It was not an enchanted item, and no fluctuations could be felt from it. It was clearly just an ordinary piece of clothing. After a moment, laughter broke the stunned silence. A grand genius like Long Chen had actually obtained a blouse as a reward for the 999th stare? That shocking scene was too comical. Everyone was laughing. The only one not laughing was the Visect Master. Looking at the blouse, he was filled with shock. 
it had to be known that the chance of obtaining trash on the 999th stair was less than 1 in a 100,000. He had run this trial many times. He had seen millions of disciples pick out their treasures. But he had never seen such a scenario. Experts had to possess karmic luck, or they would die prematurely. Even the ordinary disciples, as long as they had the qualifications to attend this trial, they had to be people blessed with karmic luck. And the netherworld heaven staircase innately bestowed karmic luck onto the disciples on it. The percentages for obtaining treasures was based on having no karmic luck. But in truth, it was almost impossible for geniuses, people blessed by the heavens, to pull out trash. In all his years, after seeing millions of disciples attending, he had only ever seen one disciple pull out trash, and that had been on the 333rd stair. As for on the 666th stair, he had never seen anyone pull out trash. He had also gone through the history books. In hundreds of generations, no one had ever pulled out trash on the 666th stair. By the 999th stair, the rewards were all peak treasures. The odds of trash were basically non-existent. Although he didn't have the qualifications to go through the other four regions' records, he trusted that trash had never appeared on them. One time was a coincidence, and twice was a miracle. But then what about the third time? Heaven defying? Then could it be that Long Chen? But that's impossible. Such people can't live this long. The Visek master was completely bewildered. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, this blouse is not bad. Didn't you get a belt previously? You should put the blouse on too. Zhang Wuyan suddenly laughed, delighting at his misfortune. I've never worn such a thing. Can Sister Zhang help me by demonstrating how to wear it? Long Chen directly tossed the blouse to Zhang Wuyan. Her expression sank. With a wave of her hand, the blouse was blown apart. You despicable peon, shameless to the peak. Long Chen was infuriated. How was she any better than him in this situation? Why be so temperamental? I just wanted you to try it on. Furthermore, I didn't even ask you to take off the rest of your clothes to do it. You could have just put it on over clothes, but you were too embarrassed about your chest. You could have worn it backward. In any case, your back is just as flat as your chest, so the effect would be the same. Everyone was startled. Long Chen's mouth was a bit too vicious, wasn't it? But quite a few people ended up looking towards Hong Wuyan's chest. As expected, it was a flat plane, a plane so flat that a horse could gallop on it. Tang Wan'er was laughing uncontrollably while Men Qi was shaking her head. Long Chen was like the ancestor of all scoundrels. Zhang Wuyan really had been asking for it by insulting him. Even if you cultivated for a hundred years, you wouldn't be able to beat him in this aspect. Die. Zhang Wuyan erupted in fury and punched Long Chen. She appeared in front of him without anyone even seeing how she had moved. As expected, none of the four heavenly geniuses was weak. A faint layer of light covered her fist. Space seemed as if it was being torn apart, and an ear-piercing sound rang out. Long Chen saw that her fist was strange, so he didn't take it head on. He dodged, appearing several meters away. His movements were strange. They looked as if someone had tied an invisible string to him and had pulled him. His dodging movements didn't make any sense physically to others, and Song Wuyan's fist ended up hitting nothing but air. If a flat woman like you is still alive, why should I go to die? Long Chen shook his head. Zhang Wuyan was ashen with rage. She was just about to erupt with her full strength when a small table rose from the center of the platform in front of them. There was a foot high jade case on the table. The final treasure has appeared. Chapter 741 Against 4 Translator. Born to be as soon as that small table appeared, Long Chen and the others charged over. They all knew that was the Netherworld Heaven Staircase's final and top reward. Although they didn't know what was inside, for it to appear now. Even an idiot would know how important it was. Water Dragon Twister. Long Chen had only just gotten to the top of the platform when a huge water dragon condensed and shot towards him. Long Chen snorted, circulating his spiritual yuan. He directly punched the water dragon. The powerful water dragon was directly blown apart. Water droplets splashed everywhere. After condensing the Enlightenment Palace Star, Long Chen's strength was incomparable to his previous self. Back then, this water dragon had been difficult for him to deal with. The main reason was that the water dragon absorbed his energy. But after condensing the Enlightenment Palace star, even though it was just an initial form, his power had reached a point where the water dragon was unable to do anything. In his punch just now, he had concentrated his power, making it so the water dragon wasn't able to absorb much of anything. It was directly blown apart. That startled Shu Guanzhi. 
He had never expected Long Chen's power to grow by so much in just a few days. Had he been hiding his power? Great earthen wall. Noveloon.com Xiao Wuji slammed his hands on the ground. A huge earthen wall blocked Long Chen's path. Long Chen was just about to test the power of this wall when the sound of whistling wind came at him. He hastily punched out to meet it. Boom. This wind, which was released by a punch from Song Wuyan, knocked him back three steps. Long Chen was startled by how powerful she was. Suddenly, Cold Sword Key stabbed at him from behind. It came so quickly that Long Chen had no time to react. The tip had almost reached his back when he instinctively dodged to the side. But the tip still tore through his robes. Clamor erupted outside. How was it that the four heavenly geniuses were all targeting Long Chen together? What are you doing? Long Chen icily stared at the four of them. At this time, do you still have to ask such a stupid question? Are you a pig? I've already said that this battlefield is not yours. A bumpkin is a bumpkin. Although your luck might be good and you've managed to crawl to this height, that doesn't represent that you have the qualifications to stand shoulder to shoulder with us. Understood. Sneered Shu Guanzi. Xiao Wuji said, Long Chen, if you're smart, you'll immediately scram. Although I really want to beat you up, now's not the time. So if you don't want to get beaten, get the fuck out of here. Zhang Wuyan also icily said, if you leave now, you can still maintain a bit of your despicable dignity. The treasure here has no fate with you, so you can leave now. Even the always silent Yu Kai Anshin opened his mouth. Just now, I was already merciful. If I had wanted to kill you, you wouldn't have been able to dodge. The four of them had actually decided to work together to get rid of Long Chen from the competition before deciding who would obtain the final treasure. Seeing this, the spectators were all shocked. Against the four of them, Long Chen would only be able to leave. But this result was unacceptable to many. This was going too far. The four heavenly geniuses were the apex figures in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. How could they work together against someone in the same realm? Isn't this going too far? Raged the 36th Super Monastery's disciples. Idiots. How is it too far? Doesn't Long Chen like to show off? It's normal for people to find him irritating and want him to fuck off as soon as possible. Ridiculed a disciple from another Super Monastery. Suddenly, the sound of bones breaking rang out, accompanied by a miserable scream. That person had barely finished speaking before a dragon blood warrior had charged over and punched him in the nose. Pay attention to your words. Don't insult our boss again. If it weren't for the robes you're wearing, you would already be a corpse. He said coldly. Intolerable. How dare you attack others? An outraged crowd gathered. Stop. One of the monastery heads shouted. Now you have the strength to fight? Why didn't you have this strength on the netherworld heaven staircase? Scram. The dragonblood warrior snorted and returned to his camp. As for the person with the broken nose, although there was no danger to his life, his blood and tears intertwined, making him appear incredibly wretched. But this wasn't the place to fight, and he could only swallow his anger. Will, will Long Chen be alright? Asked Tang Wanner worriedly. Sister-in-law, don't worry, that's our boss. Boss is unrevealed. So what if he's fighting the four heavenly geniuses? Said Guo Ran completely confidently. In the dragon blood warrior's eyes, Long Chen was no longer a human, but a god. An undefeatable battle god. They had more trust in Long Chen than anyone. That deep-rooted trust said that their boss was undefeatable. Guo Ran's words caused quite a few disdainful snorts from the other super monastery's disciples. The four heavenly geniuses had countless worshippers. The only reason they didn't say anything was because the 36th super monastery had those unreasonable country bumpkins. They might get attacked just by saying something. The dragonblood warriors felt that talking to these hypocrites who only knew how to use their mouths was a humiliation to them. So it was better to just directly use their fists. The vice sect master didn't say anything nor did he reveal any expression. He simply watched those figures, lost in thought. At this moment, the four of them had blocked Long Chen's path forward. He sneered. The reason you're working together against me is because you're afraid of me. This is the four heavenly geniuses? What happened to your dignity? Afraid of you. TCH. You're nothing. Shouted Xiao Wuji. Long Chen ignored him. Continuing. The four of you understand each other much more than you understand me. You know each other's techniques cultivation techniques, and fighting styles. But you know nothing about me or my true bottom line. The fact that I was the first to step onto the 999th stair has made you afraid. If you really had any confidence, if you really had any pride, you would never have done this. If you really believed you were unrevealed, how could you worry about that? Dragons give birth to dragons. 
Phoenixes give birth to phoenixes. Having been raised by those wily foxes, you've also become so hypocritical. The cultivation path is inherently a path of struggle. It's understandable that you would do this. So why must you refuse to admit it? You clearly want to cheat. But why do you still want to act so grand? Why bother with this act? This is all I'll say. The treasure is mine. And anyone who fights over it with me will have their five's limbs broken cough. Well, some people will only have four limbs broken. Long Chen suddenly realized he had misspoken. But it was too late to take back those words. The outsiders looked at Long Chen oddly. His previous words had actually made sense. But then they ended up being so wretched. Scoundrel. Rogue. Shameless to the peak. Zhang Wuyan gnashed her teeth. She had naturally realized that his correction was because of her. At least it's better than you sanctimonious hypocrites. At least I accept what I do. Sneered Long Chen. Shu Guanzi. Xiao Wuji. Zhang Wuyan. And Yu Qianchen's expressions were exceedingly ugly. Long Chen's words were extremely insulting and clearly a slap to their faces. Furthermore, his words were right. The reason they wanted to kick Long Chen out first was because they were intimidated by him. They knew too little about him. The four of them knew about each other's abilities. And so they felt more confident against each other. Long Chen was an unknown variable that made them uncertain. Although Long Chen's words had been the truth, they didn't want to admit it. Thus, having been exposed by Long Chen, they were infuriated. They glanced at each other and immediately came to a consensus. They weren't going to just kick him out of here. They were going to take his life. If just one of them killed him, he or she would receive a heavy punishment. But if Long Chen was killed in a brawl between the five of them, there was no way the Zhuanchen Dao sect could punish them so heavily. Killing intent immediately formed in their hearts. What the fuck? You're actually plotting to kill me. Suddenly, Long Chen's figure disappeared as the four of them looked at each other. Just like a specter, he appeared in front of each of them, his hand slapping across their faces. P.O.W. A crisp and clear sound rang out. His speed was so fast that the four slaps sounded like one. What? From the disciples to the monastery heads, their jaws could not be lower. It was practically possible to see the food in their stomachs from their open mouths. How could they not be shocked? Long Chen had actually slapped all four of them at the same time, and not one of them had managed to block. This face-slapping art had reached a supernatural level. How could he slap the faces of the four heavenly geniuses at the same time? Although his face-slapping divine ability had been trained and refined to a supernatural level, to slap four people at the same time was still a challenge for Long Chen. He had only managed to accomplish it because of their cooperation. When the four of them had communicated with their eyes, they had never imagined Long Chen would dare to take the initiative to attack them. Furthermore, Long Chen's control over the Netherworld ghost steps had reached the pinnacle. As for his face-slapping art, there was no need to say anything. There was no killing intent or killing power. So of course the four of them hadn't sensed anything. As a result, they had all been slapped at the same time, allowing them to go down in history. It could be said that this was a milestone for the cultivation world's face-slapping arts. The slap didn't really hurt. After a brief, stunned moment, they suddenly roared, their auras surging, their cries of the heavenly deos erupted, and their terrifying killing intent soared into the sky. Long Chen, you'll definitely die. 